guys, what is going on? We are playing some pipe today. It's been a while since we just kind of sat around, hung out, and uh, just kind of BMXed. And this is a map that I don't think I've ever played on the channel, or at least one I haven't played in a, v okay, in a very long time. Um, I feel like there was a version of this that was like way smaller, and I'm pretty sure I played that, but I don't know. I was kind of just going through my maps, came across this one. It's not looking like anything I've ever played before, really, I don't think. So, yeah, we're going to come and check it out. You're playing DRG right now? I don't even know what that is. First live, I'm able to make it to you. What's going on, Mikey? Hope you guys are doing well. Try to get some uh, some tricks in here. Big 360 over the jersey barrier. Okay. Couldn't see for a hot minute there. Yep, yeah, meant to do that. Meant to do that. Okay. Yeah, I was just really trying to make my way over here. There's a lot. There's a lot going on in this map, and I haven't ventured out past this this park. Oh, I guess we could have just went right here. Yeah, I haven't ventured out of this park. Well, I guess we could start here. Oh my God, there's a trampoline. We gotta see if that actually. It actually works like how I think it's gonna work. Uh, uh kinda. Oh, that rail's <laughs> that rail's not working so well. <laughs> There's so many random spots around this place. No! Okay. I love how sometimes I just absolutely lock onto to grinds and other times it's it feels like it's like a full full on manual thing. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna set our marker over here. Oh man, there's so much I could have sworn I played this map and every time I come around a new corner I'm like, oh, I've never even seen that before. Alright, let's hit the hop five and try to link it up. With one of these ledges, maybe? Maybe the ledge or the rail? Uh, Russian map creator create this map? Hell yeah, he's killing it. Okay, over the rail, sick. I could definitely just, like, 180. And link something up here. But we want to go... We want to go for the 540 and link something up. What game? This is a uh, pipe by BMX Streets. We're playing on PC, so it is heavily modified. This game does exist on console, but it does not look anything like this, unfortunately. But the creator of this game has a, a new game coming out in a couple months, it seems like, so. There's going to be a sick new BMX game coming out. Have I played BMX the game? I have played every BMX game you can think of. I've at least tried them all. BMX the game is it's pretty terrible. I've made quite a few videos on them. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've made a handful of videos on their game. There's not a whole lot to do in that game. <laughs> Gonna do any videos on Skate 4 when it's out? Yeah, of course. That's probably like, that's gotta be a couple years away though, isn't it? At least a whole year. Maybe two years? I feel like I saw like, people guessing that's gonna come out in like 2024 or something like that. How much and where? I think this game's like ten bucks. And if if you want it to play like the ultimate version of, of pipe, you gotta play it on PC so you can mod it out. But uh yeah, this game is on Xbox and PlayStation as well. It just is it's nowhere near what I'm doing right here. 
Like the game I'm playing is heavily modded. Well, Nolly Tail Whip. 180 bar, Crook. Gab out. Hitting the Smith. The backlash. Oh, no. Okay, I really wanted to uh, get a wall ride on this setup here. It's just looking pretty cool. Oh my god, that was. This was kind of bad. Just a nose manual 720. <laughs> pretty average basic tricks. Do I ride in real life? Yeah. Yeah, I've been meaning to make a video uh, at the skate park recently, but yeah, we've got lots of riding videos on the channel. Lots of videos of me doing this. Uh. And then glitching out, obviously. When's the next Scooter Flow video coming? Whenever they come out with that update. There's supposed to be an update that has like at least nose manuals and maybe a couple other things. I don't really know. He messaged me at the beginning of April saying that, that or I messaged him at the beginning of April asking when this update is coming out that he's been posting about for I mean months at this point. And yeah, he said it was coming out soon. It's the beginning of April and here we are into June and it's still coming out soon, I guess. So yeah, whenever that comes out. I just like I'm not super into scooters, so like I'm I'm only going to really cover like I like those games, but for me for those kinds of games even like with Scoot most of the videos I'm going to make on those games are when something new comes out just to like kind of oh uh, let you guys know that are I guess more interested in playing those games. I like them but I don't know. I'm not going to like really make a whole lot of random videos on them. I do it. When something new, like, new comes out then I'll make like a couple videos on them but yeah other than that kind of just boring for me at the moment. If they would be less boring, Scooter Flow would be way less boring if I could do nose manuals, which I guess is what the next update's gonna be. And if I could like get into like actual grinds, and I don't necessarily mean like lock in like Scoot, but like if it was something more along the lines of like Skater XL or Session, where like it's still like pretty manual and up to the rider what happens and how it looks when you grind, but I don't know. It'd be sick if I could like shift my body to get into like the actual position that a scooter rider gets into for like a board slide or any any other grind. Little manual bar on the trampoline. All right, let's see what we got going on over here. It looks like we got some fancy setups over here. I'm not I'm not huge at riding ramps. I'm pretty bad, but we can try to hit a couple ramps here. Yeah, we hit it with our our body pretty good there. Uh, some guy leaked the files or something of Skate Four, and people made some. Ex yeah, I've 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 played uh, like early beta stuff. What's going on, Shadow? Hope you're doing well. Um. Oh God, let's try that line again. Did I ever get the 540 linked to grind? Down about. <laughs> what was that, man? Yo, shout out to Nutty, dude. What's going on? Is this an old version of Pipe? Um. Wait, me neither. I like the game. Is this game good on console, even if I don't skate? Uh, yeah. I mean. I don't skate either. <laughs> I ride BMX bikes. Um, is this game good on console? I would say it's if if you're not into BMX and you don't BMX, uh, it's, it's gonna get boring really fast. There's not a whole lot to do in this game. Um, but if you ride BMX, you definitely get a lot of hours out of this. But yeah, this is like very much just a 
Simcade, kind of just freestyle BMX game. You're just roaming around, doing whatever. There's no objective. Just having a fun, good old time. Oh, that actually worked, and we landed it. We definitely under-rotated there. Let's see if we can do that again here, maybe. Oh my, that looks goofy as all hell. You meant Euro tables combined with wall rides? Wait, isn't that a Euro table? Like that? Isn't that a one footed Euro? Wait, Mac, do you ride BMX? Um. You made a map, but it sucks. I mean, hey, at least you're out there making them, dude. Props to you. I've never made a map. Let's get a little session on this stuff. And then, uh, I don't know. There's some pretty wacky stuff over here. Actually, yeah, maybe let's just go all the way over here and make our way. Oh, my God. We had way too much speed for that. Okay, it looks like we've got... <laughs> this looks like a crane. Pretty interesting looking crane here. Oh, oh. Huh? Oh! No! Uh, this is... This ain't flowing too hot for me. Oh my god. Sure. Okay. Maybe not. Do I think streets will come out on PC before console? Uh, if that was the case, we would already have it. Um, so unfortunately, no. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna get it at the same time. Um... But yeah, he's he's already said that the game is is already done. Oh, I thought that was a quarter pipe for a second. He's already said that the game is is done and up on Steam. Um, he's got he's just finishing stuff up for the game. The game could technically be like in early access on Steam at the moment, but it's not. He wants it all to come out at the same time, which makes sense. Wait, I was gonna start and go this way, but and there's even more stuff over here. Big. The biggest switch bar. Okay, sure. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? I swear I've played this game before and I'm good at it. Let's, uh, let's just go this way for now. God, I can't wait to actually be able to grind down kink trails like this. I mean, you can. It's just... It's not very consistent. I like to hold the grind too. But if, if you let go, you'll go down it. But it just feels weird letting go. I don't know. Map name? Ooh, that's a good question. What is the map name? We are on Gallet V2. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce it. Have I played MX Bikes? Yeah, yeah, I've made a couple of MX Bikes videos on the channel. I think I made two now. I made like the first time playing it, and then I think I had eight hours for that, and then I came back with 30 hours? God, that rail's hard. Sorry, Mac. Uh, are you in here? Yeah, you think Mod Streets has... <sighs> Old school Euros, like in Dave Mira. Hmm, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Gap into the last <laughs> kink, yeah. Yo, Mac, you never answer me. Do you ride? Um... This is... Oh, this is a real park? Oh, that's sick. I mean, honestly, most of the good maps, gapping to that last kink is going to be stupid hard. It's definitely possible. Big gap ice? <laughs> Case in it. But yeah, this map is sick. Do they actually have this, like, wood set up beside it? Or is that, like, improvised? Oh, there you go. Big gap pegs. 
gap crank arm would be kind of wild. I played Descenders yet? Yes, guys. Descenders is old as fuck. <laughs> I've definitely played Descenders lots of times. Ooh. Catching the stairs there? Uh, the dirt jumps don't really exist, but the skate park does really exist. Okay, sick. See if we can get a Beans 3 here. No. That was just a flip. Okay, get me, get me off my bike. See if we can actually hit this section here. God, there's still so much more stuff. I'm gonna, be, I'm probably gonna be playing this for a while, guys. Um, I guess you hit that like a roll in there. This part is kind of looking scuffed. Huge truck. Going for the the biggest dip three. <laughs> okay, making our way back into the quarter pipe. Three sixty crank flip to bar, <laughs> man. Not really hitting that spine all that great. We gotta hit this thing. Ooh, not like that though. Coming around here, eh, hit that gap. 360 Grizz Air to bar, like what is happening? Why am I doing that? Big foam pit? <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh, there's a mattress landing. That's actually hilarious. Okay, what the hell, man? Can't find the map? Yeah, I don't I don't know where... I, I, I mean, I've gotten 99% of my maps from Volution. Um, but there there is a, a mod.io page for Pipe. Uh, with some maps on it. Uh, aren't there other players in this map? Like, Riders Republic? Uh, no, there's... I mean, there is a multiplayer mod for this game, but... Do I have an old potato shop with merch? Uh, not yet. It's in the works. Um, like, I am wearing... An old potato shirt. But uh, yeah, we haven't we haven't really worked that out yet. It's in the, it's in the it's in the process of being made. I've the, the, my problem is is I've only made like two or three things, and then I get lost on what to make, or like my ideas for what I okay, or my ideas for like designs and stuff are like just. Just like slightly out of my Photoshop and um, art skills, I guess. Um, so like committing the time to actually making what I want is just, you know, I'm a, I'm a big time pr procrastinator. If any of you guys in the chat like to procrastinate, uh, it's, it's the story of my life. So yeah, I've been, I mean, I've been getting asked to make any sort of merchandise. I mean, basically since Pipe came out. Um, but yeah, we'll try to get some out before the end of the year. I found, like, a good website, and I've been... They've got, like, pretty good prices, actually, and, like, decent quality stuff. Um, like, they actually get, like, real brands in. Uh, so, like... I don't have it on me at the moment. I think it's in, I think it's in me room. But uh, I have like an old potato hoodie, um, which is like uh, my uh, 
Uh, where's that logo? Let me just show you real quick. I could just bring it up on here, I think. Uh, let's do an image, I guess. Image. Okay. Browse. Desktop. Yeah, I have this on a hoodie. Oh, God. And the hoodie is like a champion hoodie. So, like, it's super good quality. But, like, the website also has, like... Um, the website also has, like... like cheap and affordable stuff but they also have like nice brand name stuff so i can i can basically throw that on whatever i want and like if you guys just want something like kind of cheaper screen printed whatever just you know you can grab that or if you want an embroidered champion hoodie like you can also have that something that's like super something that you know is gonna is gonna last right like sometimes you get like merchandise from a youtuber or whatever it is and it's just like pretty poop so it's kind of nice that it's like if you were hoping to get something that's like pretty pretty nice you definitely can what's up bro what's going on danny looks like he mid bust <laughs> okay dude <laughs> Maybe he is, dude. I don't know what it's like to get abducted by a UFO. It's looking like it's pretty sensational from that photo. I can't lie. Okay, we've been riding this spot, and we have not even done anything cool. Let's get a 360 down whip. Huge flip. Okay. <laughs> Come around here. Uh, a little table. We're coming for the big 360 flip. Or flip 360. I always call it a 360 flip. But we can't even do that. Let's just get the big Kevin Peraza. I don't know if any of you guys saw that that Kevin Peraza clip from the Fees event. Mans did a huge flare over a jump. He's better than me in a video game. Like, that's insane. I can't even hit it. Obviously, the consequences for him pulling it are a lot higher than me not pulling it in a video game. So, there is that, but come on now. KP is insane. Okay, my guy just stopped spinning. Yeah, what's going on, Nike? So, how do you 180 out of grinds with no speed? How do I 180 out of grinds with no speed? In real life or in the video game? In the video game, it's... It's not that much different than doing it with speed. In real life, it's definitely harder. Um, you can't wait for BMX Streets to come out. Also, you're going to try and make RL parks so you can ride. Oh, yo, that's sick. Yeah, I've got a, a guy saying he's going to make me my local skate park for these games. And I'm, I'm hyped to try it out in these games. But uh, for when Streets comes out, ooh, I can't wait. Can I see 540 cab down whip? Yeah, of course. Maybe let's actually pull it though. Oh, let's do it off this ledge. Okay. That's probably realistically what it would look like if someone was to get a first try. I can't seem to pivot off my back wheel. Yeah, I can't seem to pivot. I can pivot the other way, I bet, though. Sick. Let's just hit it opposite, I guess. That was a crank flip. <laughs> okay, come on now. Crank flips are dialed in. That's great. I'm not going for the crank flip, though. Okay. Let's go. It's crazy how, like, actually riding opposite, and even in a video game, is somehow difficult. But yeah, how do you spin out of a grind with no speed? Uh, you just hold to the side and... and hop? Um, you have to, like, think of spins in this game, like, it, like, preloads, right? Like, if I just hop and try to spin, it doesn't really go anywhere. But if I hold spin... 
to the side and then like hop out, it usually it, it'll usually spin. But spinning out of a grind going uh, with no speed is is just going to be more difficult. I don't I don't exactly know why. It is in real life, so maybe that's why he's made it like that in game. But yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. I I have a dude. I might have to restart the game. It's really bugging me that I can't pivot go my normal way. I'll just spin forever. Why why am I not streaming on Twitch? Uh cuz I just don't have a, a Twitch following. And I feel like extreme sports games in general on Twitch just don't have a viewers, you know? Play Alex bikes. You play Scooter Flow too? Yeah, I've played just about every extreme sports game you guys can think of. New map? No, this is a this is an old map. Am I into MX bikes? I mean, I have it. I've got like maybe like forty hours into it, forty or fifty hours into it at this point. It's uh, it's super difficult to play that game. That game is super hard, but I think it's fun. Super satisfying to play, like once you get through a track. We've got some interesting setups along the road here. It's like, can we actually like grind any of this stuff? Oh, this is just the same setup on repeat. <laughs> See if we can actually grind this. No? Okay, cool. <laughs> I love how like the street is just a picture. I don't know if we really missed anything too much over here. I know I like forever ago I said I was just going to start and go all the way down the one side. So maybe we can get back to doing that. There's some cool rail setups here though. Oh my god. We somehow made the foot jam on that. Some cool ledges. I don't know. We could get some like cool grind manual stuff here. Really know if there's anything over here worth hitting. Nice. I don't even know how to grind in this game, dude. You have any idea when streets is dropping, Andy? This year, that's all I know. I think uh, let's let's pull up uh, the Mash Games Instagram. Uh, let me go to display capture. Yeah. Okay. New tab. Or wait. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> properly uh, BMX streets let's see what this pinned is I can't even remember what this is 2023 let's go head over to steam and wishlist BMX streets okay that's great this is what he posted recently. Let's just watch that one more time while I... Yo, about time he posts a clip without a completely vertical seat. Am I right? Uh, he says, after several years of development to create the most versatile physics experience in a BMX video game... Wait, did I just read that like an absolute moron? After several years of development to create the most versatile physics experience a BMX video game has ever had, the physics for BMX Streets is finally finished. Creating a 100% physics-based experience has been super challenging, but worth the effort. The creativity with the jibbing is endless. And man, the way he lands into the smith and kind of like kind of balance it out it looks it looks pretty sick I don't know if I should recognize who this girl rider is or not um because my my guess is for uh for the game is they're gonna have the pro riders of course I only knew of Angie Marino uh, as like a girl rider getting scanned in there but have y'all considered a dude the the, the comments on these Instagram posts are beyond hilarious to me. Now, when is it coming to console? 
can we get it on console too? It's like, what? Obviously. Obviously, just look at his page. BMX Streets coming to Xbox and PlayStation 4 plus more. It's going, it's going to be on console, boys. It's going to be on there. Let's take a look at the Steam page. Planned release date, 2023. Interested? Add to your wish list. What do we got for photos here? So, oh yeah, so anyways, what I was going to say was, I'm pretty sure for players, uh, we have Mash Games himself, uh, Matt. And then I think there's going to be a girl, similar to how it is in uh, Pipe. You got the, the guy and the girl rider, and then I think there's just going to be a bunch of pros. Yeah, the bikes are looking insane, dude. Speaking of... Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks crazy. Especially when you... <laughs> like, let's, let's just do something quickly here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got that. <laughs> it's just, it's just looks so bad comparatively. <laughs> it just looks so so whack compared. Uh, we love Pipe though. Pipe's a, a great game. It's a fantastic game. Let's just make sure I didn't... Yeah, okay, yeah, we're fine. Every day I pray to see game listed on Steam. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's on there. It's just, it's just, uh, we're just all, we're still all waiting for it. I, if I had to guess, though, I, I would have to imagine, um, it, like, he'll, he'll announce that it's coming out in, I would say, within a week. We'll see it out. Oh. That's hurting the nads, for sure. Yeah, I didn't want to grind up that one anyways. It's fine. Can I play more MX bikes? Um, probably not, to be honest. I'm just, like, really not good at it and I feel like not being good at that game is really not fun to watch all right let's ride this stuff over here that I've been meaning to ride a bunch but I just keep not doing it okay sick so we've got a gap to dumpster oh okay oh to the trampoline okay interesting You have the same Kame House Wall Weaver? Nice. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, on mine, what we did was uh, I like f I like photoshopped out. I think it's like Goku or Gohan on the, the Nimbus. <laughs> we put this, we my Super Saiyan potato in the middle. Icarus. No, oh, I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Guys, thank you everyone for, for hanging out. I'm glad that uh, we can do this. You know, hang out. Not ride the dumpster, because I, I, I'm assuming it wants me to grind the edge, right? That's what it looks like. But he just wants to ride on top for some reason. This has to be the skinniest jersey, jersey barrier I've ever seen. Interesting. Think you blurred it too? Um, yeah, I did. I blurred it a little bit. I took out Goku on the Nimbus, blurred it, but uh, whatever. I, that's like all my wallpapers. I literally just take something I'm into at that time or whatever and just uh, just incorporate my old potato guy into it. <laughs> 
There's like a mosquito in here, dude. Come on now. Like I had a Naruto wallpaper for the longest time. It was like Naruto in Sage mode. And then you could just see like <laughs> like a life size Tato guy beside him with like I think he had like a headband on or something. A leaf village headband. God, this is the strangest thing I've ever played in this game. Oh no, that's really hard to play. Dragon Ball is in a phase. Yeah, Dragon Ball is sick. Dragon Ball's, I think. Hmm. That's not true, actually. <laughs> I, say, I think Dragon Ball is the only anime I've watched all of. That is not true. Imagine BMX Street. I mean, when BMX Streets comes out, they could throw like a dirt jumper or slope style bike in there. I mean, people have modded that stuff in here. Who knows? Maybe it will. Maybe there will be other vehicles um, that you can ride. Right? He teased on his Instagram forever ago that uh, like he's he's kind of gone on about how the map for streets is going to be like this huge crazy experience, um, and he's kind of he's kind of leaked or teased uh, other vehicles like dirt bikes and stuff in the game. So, yeah, I mean, who knows? If he's got a dirt bike in there, why not put a mountain bike? Like, it doesn't need to be, like, super fleshed out like the BMX, but... Uh, because it isn't a mountain bike game, but... I, I mean, he could definitely put a mountain bike in there and, you know, throw bar spins, tail whips, like, moto whips, a whole bunch of tricks... Ooh. Nice. Nice. How much will streets cost? I have absolutely no clue since there's not even a release date for the game and nobody knows when it's coming out. Don't know how much it's going to cost, unfortunately. Not being able to pivot sucks, man. you can actually ride on those or not i haven't hit one yet 20 to 32 dollars maybe i mean it could be more than that i mean he he in his discord server he said that i think he said the price of it was honest it's, it's gonna be like <laughs> i mean at the time in his discord server he said it was gonna be the same amount as riders republic which i mean that's a that's what like a 60 50 dollar game I mean, when that game came out in Canada, I mean, it was like, I think it was like 80 bucks. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I don't really know. 40 to 60 is probably what I would expect. I wouldn't expect anything less than that, just based off what he has said. Which, you know, I think it's going to sound like a lot of money to a lot of people. But I think it'll be definitely worth it. Especially to anybody that's already aware of the game and has been waiting for it. I feel like you know, if you've been keeping up with it over the years and following the progress and just waiting for it, I mean, it's definitely going to be worth it. And I think, like, him him pricing it at that, oh, 
hopefully means that you know we're gonna see like a lot more than what he's he's been showing and he really hasn't shown much and he's been hyping the hell out of it in his discord so yeah time to sell some CSGO skins <laughs> yeah you better go see what items you got on your Steam profile. Put them up for sale on the Steam market. I did that the other day and got like a couple of dollars. Because I've had a Steam for, I don't know. God. Maybe like, not 10 years, but maybe like 8 years. And I had a lot of items that I could just sell. Do you think skateboards will be added in Riders Republic? Oh, when do I think? Um... I know when skateboards are being added in Riders Republic. Um, it's in season eight. Um, so basically, what is it? There's like a month left in the current season of Riders Republic. So once uh, once that season's over, uh, we'll be into season seven. Um, and so when season seven's out, it'll tell us how long season seven is. And then that's when skateboards comes out is at the end of season seven or season eight. Um, my guess is, what is it now? What is it? It's, oh, it's June. Um, June, July, August. How, how long are seasons in Rogers Republic? Two to three months? So I, I'm going to say like September or October we'll see skateboards in uh, Rogers Republic. But I mean, if there's there's a Ubisoft Forward event uh, June twelfth, um, and you might see some content around the skateboarding in Riders Republic uh, around that time from Ubisoft and some other places. I don't know who. I don't even know if I'm allowed to even say that, but we said it. So if you're if you're excited for skateboarding in Riders Republic. You will see a lot about it in the next um, in the next week. Ubisoft Forwards June twelfth. So yeah, and like in like a in like a week or two, you're gonna see a lot of content online based around that stuff. Just a heads up. skateboarding and just basically some stuff you're going to see in that season so yeah Ubisoft is coming from you no I feel, I feel like they've said that they definitely haven't said anything about other people sharing stuff but as far as everyone is concerned here neither I haven't said that either I think the stream just glitched out what happened anyways Big Nolly Ice, 360 down whip, looking really terrible. Let's get a three six or <laughs> let's get a flip bar. Nice. Moving on. Let's uh let's air out of the park over here. Hitting a 180. Huge half cab over the railing. Then we're gonna come over to this ramp right here. Hit a big tabletop air. Nice. Then we're gonna come up to this box jump. Hit a big flip single tail whip. Definitely had time for a second one there, but we're leaving it at one. Hit a nice table air again. Then we're gonna come over to the box backwards. 360 turn down. Nice. Set a double down with bear. Lovely. Then we're going to hit a big 360 table. Tuck no hander. Nice. This box is kind of looking like a resi. Then we're going to flip into the foam pit. Hit a front flip out. Oh my god. Somehow hitting a front flip out of the foam pit. We got an area over here that we can hit. Uh, let's hit a nolly bar manual. 180 crank flip. Hitting it in the opposite direction as well. That's an opposite 180. It's when you spin in your non dominant direction. All right, moving on. Uh, can I do a 180 Smith to feeble to 180 bar to a manual to a down whip? Uh, you got some knives. Nice. <laughs> At least 5K worth. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a lot of time in CSGO. That's a lot of money spent. H how much money did you spend to get 5K worth of CSGO skins? <laughs> Uh, okay, you want a 180 Smith to Feeble. A 180 Smith 
to feeble. 180 bar manual down whip. I think is what you want. Okay, let me see if I can figure that out. Okay, we just gotta figure out how to grind, apparently. Hey yo, psychedelic sushi, thanks for the two dollar two dollars and twenty cent donation. I like that. What is that? A lemon superhero. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I'm sorry that took me a minute. I didn't see that. Something like that. 180. Can I do a 180 to fakie on a ledge, then drop down to pegs without hopping? I think so. Huh, not on that ledge. Could have sworn there was a dog by me. On the ledge with cutouts oh is that is that what you mean these ledges because these ledges have like the edges got they're like be 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 beveled trevor does stuff yo 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 oh the other ledges with 90 degree angles I'll tell you where i could do it right here yeah, let me find a ledge for you. Like that? Is that what you mean? You don't know where they went. Ledges with 90 degree angles. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Where can I get this map? You can join the Volution Discord server. Um, and you can get the maps there. Or you can go to mod.io and search search it up there. The map is called uh, Galit V2 or Galit. You're talking about this spot right here, right? And so what you want is for me to come over here. And you want me to do something like this? And then drop into a pegs like that? Will you get BMX Streets when it comes out? If you get this game? No, it's it's not it's not the same thing. That'd be like saying, do I get the new Oh, actually that's a bad that's a bad <laughs> I was going to say, do I get the new skate game? Because I got Skate 3. Well, the new skate game is free to play, so you could see it that way. Um, that'd be like saying, you know, I got last year's Call of Duty. Do I get the next year Call of Duty? No. So it's a completely different game. If you can't tell that from, like, the photos and stuff, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's not even similar to the same thing. It's not even close. Not even close to the same experience. It's in and and don't even think of it as like an update to to BMX Streets or sorry as to Pipe. It's gonna be way different. I'm pretty sure the only thing that's gonna feel the same is controls. I think outside of controls for the game, it's gonna be way different. Think of this game as Skate One and the one that's about to come out, Skate Two. <laughs> like I don't yeah, think of it like that. Maybe Pipe was pretty much like this game right here. Actually, you know what? I, I'm going to make a video on this, but let me just show you. Um, let me show you what Pipe originally came out as and what it was only ever supposed to be. Uh, I'm going to close Pipe here for a second. Let me just uh, do this. Um, yeah, let me show you what Pipe originally was and what it was only ever supposed to be. It, it was never supposed to be updated to even what it is now. Um, Sorry, on pipe. Cool. So yeah, this is this is all pipe was ever supposed to be. 
and in fact, this is actually not even the first build. Um, I don't even think Training Grounds was in it from the beginning. Oh no, this is definitely not the first build because even the pipe map in here is super updated. Um, originally in pipe, none of this stuff was here. It was just this pipe map and it was supposed to just kind of be like a demo or more or less like a proof of concept. Like um, he was making the game by himself and so he put out essentially what he had at the time as far as progress on BMX streets to uh, be able to make money to continue working on the game. Um, and yeah, the game was way, way less than even what this is. Um, like there used to just be this and some benches around the map. We also had some other tricks in the game too. We used to be able to do, uh, was it hand plants or foot plants on quarter pipes? One thing I actually really love about this build a pipe is look at how easily I can peg hard three on a flat rail. Oh God, that was really bad example. Let's get like a nollie pegs three. Okay. What is happening? Nolly bar. Pegs hard. I swear I made a vid, like I showed this at the end of a video the other day. Which I could ice hard three. What is happening? Am I stupid? Am I actually dumb? Am I tripping out like beyond belief right now? What's happening? Easy threes are no problem. Let me hit the up rail. And I swear in a video the other day, I posted me doing that like no problem. I don't know. Anyways, but yeah, this is all pipe was ever supposed to be. And to even see what it got updated to is kind of wild. There's some things I actually like about this this build, like doing uh, like grind 180 grinds works really good on this one. But it's definitely somewhat sketchy. This is kind of fun, though. Can we hit the pedal hang fives? Nice. <laughs> I'm a little late. Do you still have that pre-pre-alpha build? Oh, like the physics demos? No. I think someone left a comment, though, saying they could send it to me. OG pipe is crazy. I don't even think we... Can we tire ride? Oh, yeah. Let me get one line in this, and then we'll go back to the pipe we're used to. Oh, you can... Wait, you can pivot? Okay. I don't know why it wasn't working for me before. <laughs> I don't know why, but spinning just is so much easier in this. And this, I think, had, like, the broken, yeah, slow-mo pumps. Nice. Okay. Double peg hard 360. Come on. Truck. Ooh. Nice. All right. We'll go back to regular pipe. As soon as I do a Pegs Hard 3 on this, I know it's possible. Or oh, Feeble, Feeble Hard 3. Okay, there's the Pegs Hard 3. Feeble Hard 3? Nolly Feeble Hard 3? Yo. Like, that would be so hard in pipe. And we'll, we'll go ahead and try it in a second, but it's, it's just the grinding in this one seemed to work pretty good. Is that the old potato? What's going on, Jamie? Oh my god. Come on now. Oh 
<laughs> just, just works so ass sometimes. Hey, yo, this actually, when I got on this the other day, I tried the step up. It's actually way harder on this build of pipe, and I don't know why I never even thought about that. But we'll, we'll leave that for the video. Anyways, let's go back to normal pipe. Let's head back to the normal pipe. The pipe we're familiar with. Yeah, hopefully you guys are all having a great, or had a great weekend. What is it, Sunday now? It was just your boy's birthday on Thursday. Been up to too much. I got uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I've been playing that a lot recently. We're 26 years old, guys. What's happened to me? What has happened? We're actually turning into an old potato. It's happening. Ordered the same mic as you have on Friday. Ooh. I've actually been... Uh, music hella loud, is it? Oh, maybe you meant for the game, maybe? Tech in this build is crazy. Oh, dude, yeah. That's why I like that uh, that other build. Like, I feel like I have, I feel like I'm less magnetized to grinds, and you can just spin and get in and out of them way, way better. As long as you're accurate. Twenty-seven year old potato. I mean, next year we'll be twenty-seven, and then we'll be three years away from thirty, dude. Oh crazy um yo old potato yo what's going on fred what's going on wheelie not much we're just getting back into the regular pipe god i'm a little a little stiff in the neck from having my my arms up uh let's close this let's get our player back out who, who do we have this guy let's change up the player maybe i like this guy and let's go back do we go back I don't know if I go back. Uh, let's just go through some maps here. What controller do I have? I would say the main controller I use is this guy, which is a, a scuff reflex. I think that's what it's called. Does it say on it? It doesn't. It's the scuff PS5. That's what I'd normally use. I also have an Xbox One controller that I have modified with rear buttons. Um, this is like my second go-to. And then the, the controller I'm using right now is an 8-bit Doe, which is a pro controller for the Nintendo Switch. And I'm only using it because I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom recently. Um, and yeah. How much you set up? What do you mean how much I set up? Husky Nation shirt? Where? I got some Husky Nation shirts. Oh, Spencer in the chat. Oh, we need to change that shirt, Bo. Oh, you don't like the old potato shirt? You don't like the old potato shirt, Bo? Oh, how much money is my setup? Jeez, I, I don't know. It depends on how much. Like, if we're talking about everything, desk and every, like, uh, I don't even know if... 
I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot of money. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but... but you can't see my TV right here, but I'm playing on like a... <laughs> like a 4K OLED <laughs> TV. <laughs> but uh, we could get a shirt change. Yeah, there's a big-ass TV we're playing with right here. Oh, one second. Why is the music so quiet? My bad guys, I was playing the game with my face cam up. That's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. Wait, too loud? Wait, what? Extra loud? Too loud. It's too loud. It's too loud. I mean, how's it too loud? I'm looking at the levels. Wait, it's good now, but I turned it up and you were saying it's too loud. Oh, it's the, f that's what it was. You know what it was? It was this. What, I, I mean, I can't hear it, so that's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's for, it's for like, uh, like this shit. This has like audio with it. 
That's my bad. <laughs> I left it on like that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, we're going to hide that so that never happens again. I was like, what are you guys talking about? The music's fine. All right. Sorry, guys. We were kind of screwing around there for for far too long. Long enough that I'm over this map. Uh, what's a good one? Just go to the next one on the list. That was quite humorous. Guys, I've been streaming for years now. That was all part of the plan. All a part of the plan. Nice. Can you do a line with a slider? Absolutely. Okay, we hit a wall. God, now I don't like how loud the music is. Now it feels too loud. Because I turned it up for whatever reason. I mean, I could also just turn my head. That would probably make the most sense. to get into a grind. That would have been sick. Oppo whip to Whopper? Oppo whip to Whopper? What? What breed is my dog? Uh, Pitbull. One's Pitbull and one's Rottweiler Pitbull, I believe. Okay, we gotta focus up. I've not done anything worth watching in a while. We got, we got to hit up some steezy lines. Oh, going for the downside smith on that wall, I guess. Do a kickflip. We got you. We did a kick and a flip. Still learning how to air out of cord pipes. Nice. What? Oppo whip to whopper. I'm confused on how I could possibly make that look good. That was just a whip to whip. I need a big jump. My whoppers are set so slow. Oh yeah, let's see if we can do the the pegs hard three in this. I could maybe do it off like the side of this. Oh, see how slow it is though. Pegs easy three. Even that's kind of difficult. Let's get a big one. It's so hard to get a pegs hard three. And in real life, there's riders that would do it down a ledge like that. I can barely pull the hard 180 out. Nice. That, that was what I was going for. Yeah, like, it's just... It's so weird. Like an easy one, sort of. Okay, that... <laughs> Oh my god, can you uh, use the sliders to turn out of fakie too? Um, like that? They should get the scooter flow grinds in this, but that's just no grinds. <laughs> no one would like that. 
Scooter Flow grinds are just a game that doesn't have grinds implemented. I think I know what you mean though. I think you mean like no magnets and like you just kind of like get in the body position and land in the grind, which I think would be awesome. And um, I mean, a lot of times you do grinds, that is exactly what it looks like. Like when I just did that feeble, but yeah, a game that's less uh, do stuff for you is definitely fun, especially for anybody that actually uh, does these sports. They might want something like where they can kind of do whatever they want and not be limited by what the game can do for you. Can I say your name? Jake, what's going on, man? Name has been said. Yo, par. Actually, always chill and vibe. Yo, I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Jake from State Farm. Um, can I do a toboggan 180 to ice pick to 360 whip? Uh, I guess we could do that. A 180 toboggan to fakey ice to 360 whip. You want to edit reaction to the Eclat Lewis Mills? Yeah, we could check that out. I'm trying to think of how the hell I'm going to do this. Okay. <laughs> don't know how we're going to get a 360. We could maybe do it on that, like a 270. Yeah, that might actually look kind of cool. Doing it on a rail just is not looking... Oh, that was actually kind of sick. That was kind of like what you were talking about with the scooter flow cries. <laughs> like when you kind of... The game doesn't put you into a grind you put yourself into a grind okay god this is gonna be stupid hard i mean there's that that's probably all all i can really do there Do I have a custom gear and gravity? Uh, custom gear, absolutely. Gravity, no. I don't really mess with the physics. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I'll like increase my pedal speed, but other than that, we we are completely defaulted up. The only thing custom in this game is gear, bike, and tricks. We have some custom tricks. That just looked fucking terrible. Uh, can we get an Upledge Smith Bar Manual 360? You know what? I appreciate that. That's a good... That is a good call out, man. Um, Smith Bar Manual 3. I might add to it a little bit if that's okay with you. I'm thinking like... I'm thinking like Smith... Nose bar manual three. Oh, actually, it would be sick if I if we got it up there, maybe. Oh, maybe not. How am I gonna do that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, Smith bar manual three. Where's a good spot for that? I guess right here, really. Maybe on the flat rail? Or not the flat rail, the little up rail? This guy right here. You could do a little one on this guy right here. Hmm. 
hang nothing to nothing. <laughs> Wait, how do I nothing? I don't think I have nothings in this. I think it's modded, so I ha I do like the cannonball. So I could do a hang nothing to cannonball, <laughs> which would look probably equally as stupid, but that's gonna be so dumb. But we'll do it for you, OG. Where the hell am I gonna do that, bro? Let me just make sure I don't have that anywhere else. I'm pretty sure I don't, though. No, I don't. It's, it's definitely modded. Yeah, I mean, that's as good as it gets, man. I'll accept the cannonball. I'm not sure where else we could do it. Could we do it? Ah, see, I need, like, a jump, but there's no jumps in this. Yeah, we could maybe try to hit the hip like that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know what we could do potentially is hit like a drop. Ugh. I don't know why I'm even considering doing this more than I have. All right, like something like this. Yeah, that's just not gonna work. We need like an actual jump. Correct to switch a Whopper Whip or regular Tail Whip. That was, a, that was just a switch regular whip. Get the switch, switch crook. To oh slow walk would be crazy. God, the worst for gym I've ever seen. <laughs> I cannot bob into a foot gym there. Can't wait for Street So Hype. Just a bit bummed that we cannot customize the character, but gameplay looks solid. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I mean, I know we all, like a lot of us play on PC, especially most of the people, <laughs> I would assume, watching this. So we'll be able to, to mod characters and stuff like that, kind of like what I'm doing right now in Pipe with a different character. But yeah, it is it is unfortunate that, uh, that we're not going to have that. And it's... I feel kind of bad because I probably should have mentioned this in my video where I even talked about that. But I saw a lot of people saying, oh, that's no big deal. Like, I don't care about that, especially since that's just something he can add in an update uh, where he has definitely mentioned in his Discord about how that's not a thing. And, like, he's not really adding, like, features, like, to, to the game, like, post-launch like that. Like, I think a lot of the updating he'll be doing is, like, fixing bugs that players find and... And stuff like that. I'm not sure how he's going to update the game. I'm pretty sure in his Discord he's already said, like, basically the game's going to come out. He'll, you know, do bug fixes and, and, and glitches and stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, he's pretty much going to be just on to making another game. So, yeah. I definitely should have mentioned that in the video. But sometimes I forget, like... <laughs> Uh, about all the stuff there is to go over. Yeah, he definitely said that, uh, I'm pretty sure he said in, anyways in his Discord that, like, any of the updates he does are gonna be, like, bug fixes and stuff like that. And then he'll be just straight on to the, the next, next game. Can you try GTA 5, like, board slide on a BMX? Uh, no. I used to do that before there was a game like this. But I'd rather just play this. 
god. Should I get this or just wait for streets? I would just wait, to be honest. If you've if you've gone this long without pipe, like this game came out at the end of 2017. So it's almost been six years uh, you, you've gone without playing this game. I would just wait till streets comes out. It comes out sometime this year. If I had to guess, probably in the fall or something. But, yeah. Does it derp... Does the dirt bike will be in game? I remember seeing could be fun as a secret thing. I mean, if it is in the game, I don't even think it'll be a secret thing. He's kind of teased how huge this map is going to be. So I think if anything, that is going to be a way to just get around the map fast. That's my guess. I think he's going to have potentially the bike as, I mean, the BMX is going to be the main vehicle, but I think maybe he'll have other stuff. Like maybe there's like no fast travel system and the only way to get around the map is to like actually explore it. And so you would need to, uh, kind of like in GTA five, right? You're like, you're not really fast traveling somewhere unless you have like an apartment. So maybe, maybe it'll be something, something like that where you actually just have to get on a dirt bike to get across the map fast. I mean, you could pedal across it, but obviously it'd be faster on a dirt bike. Do I like Minecraft? Uh, Minecraft is cool. I don't really play it. I haven't thought about that. I hope for traffic then. I mean, I I can't lie. Like, if we're riding around just completely empty streets, that is going to be super weird. But I mean, in all of his clips that he's shown, maybe like maybe he's hiding something like that. But in every clip he's shown, although he hasn't really shown anything specifically in a city, uh, but we haven't seen any sort of pedestrians, no cars or anything. I don't. I I'm not really sure how important that is to him. And to be honest, I don't know how important it is to, for me. I know that definitely uh, enhances the experience and immersion of being in like a city BMXing, but. I just, I mean, he doesn't have character customization. I don't know how important pedestrians and stuff is to him to make the game feel like more alive. I really don't know. Let's have to wait and see. Yo, uh. Oh, you want the BC? Yeah, we'll, we'll head there in a bit. Or wait, is this, or is that the map I'm on? I don't even remember. Is it possible to do an over ice pick to truck? Yeah, for sure. I don't know about on any of these setups. Over ice to truck on a down rail would be pretty hard. Yeah, kind of. If I go super slow, we might be able to. Hey, there we go. Over ice truck. Had a reaction soon? Yeah, we could. What is it, Lewis? Mills control is isn't that old or no? How old is that edit? To me, game feel and immersion is so much more important. I'll place it on par with gameplay. Yeah, it's weird. Like even when I made that video, like people like said they didn't care about custom character customization. That it's it's purely on gameplay. And I would agree with that for sure. But it's just like. I think people are just thinking like sh very short term and not long term. Like if BMX Streets came out with way better gameplay or with whatever the BMX Streets gameplay is, but it looked like pipe, you know people would be complaining about the graphics. And I would be willing to bet even the people that say, oh, it's all about gameplay would be complaining about graphics. Like, I don't know. At some point, like when you look at every other game, and all these games kind of set a standard and a game doesn't technically meet that standard. I don't know. It's going to disappoint a lot of players. Will you play the Untitled Skate game when it comes out? Yeah. There isn't an extreme sports game or action sports game, whatever you want to call them, that's came out within the last, uh, I guess, as long as I've been doing YouTube, like six, five, six, seven years. Uh, that I haven't played. 
I've played rollerblade games, scooter games, skateboard games. Um, yeah, we've played it all. That's not something I would play regularly, but we always check it out, especially any sort of like new indie game. If I can make a video on it and get some some of you guys, some of your eyes on it that might be interested in a game like that, that's that's, that's really all all I'm doing it for. I think most people will think will be like, or wait, I think most people think like it would be better than pipes or whatever without seeing what could be or would have been possible. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are also just thinking like, oh, like this is the game we've been waiting for. This is the game. So like when it comes out anything that's missing he'll just add for us and the reason he didn't do that with pipe is because he was making bmx streets but i think what people are <laughs> gonna quickly find out is oh now he's just working on bmx streets 2 or whatever the hell he's gonna make after this instead of adding stuff to bmx streets which is something i've been seeing like even with uh even with that pump bmx game or sorry not pump bmx game street dog bmx um it very much seems like him and even BMX Streets when it comes out, they kind of have this like, uh, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like an old look or old take on games. And I think it's maybe just because extreme sports video games just aren't that popular. And I guess what I'm trying to say here is I'm really bad at talking sometimes or explaining a thought. But uh, when you look at most games nowadays that come out, like whether it's a shooter or whatever, they kind of come out and they kind of evolve over the years, whether it's gameplay and maps and the way like the mechanics work and stuff like they kind of evolve. Um, and I feel like a lot of people have come to expect that from video games because the most popular ones like shooters or whatever, like that's just how they all work. So when you get a game that's like BMX Streets and you hear that, you know, once it's out, it's out, and that's it. And it's not really getting a whole lot added to it afterwards. I feel like that's like a little, um, maybe disappointing to players, considering like most of the other games that they play that are popular games just constantly get content updates and whatever. So I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully we see mod.io integration into BMX Streets. He did say he was looking into that. Cause then the then the community could just carry the game a lot more, even on console. Like that's that's the only reason I'm I'm really playing this for you guys today is because we have all these crazy cool maps and modded characters and tricks that keeps the game fresh for so long. All right, I want surprisingly a map with more ramps. More ramps would be sick. I like the ghetto park. What is this? I don't I don't even recognize some of the names of these maps. What's this game called? Spy Games. This is Pipe by BMX Streets. It's heavily modded on PC, but this game does exist on console. It just doesn't really look like this. Actually pretty recently they released yeah i think i, I did watch that uh, boink <laughs> am i into mountain bikes um i don't ride mountain bikes i have ridden mountain bikes we got a game crash um it's been a while since i've rode mountain bikes but i like watching it like i try to catch like some of the events um like i love watching red bull rampage rampage is probably my favorite uh but like i was watching some of the crankwork stuff that was happening what was it like a couple weeks ago? Skate 2 Fun Track? I don't think I have any skate maps on this. That would be sick though. Uh, I might have the Skate 3 map. I don't even think I have that. Uh, the only skate maps that I've seen made for this are... There's like a mega park from Skate 1, I think, and 
Pennyways, Hawaiian Paradise from Skate 3. And then like the, the Spillway or whatever. I don't think I, I don't have any Skate 3 maps, unfortunately. The fun track would be dope. Oh, wait. No. I thought I saw something. Uh, we could go to Naples. Naples? We'll get the... Uh, <laughs> we'll clip in and do a <laughs> the front flip on a, a roller coaster bike, whatever the hell that thing's called. Uh, what's Harrisburg? I know Half Cab University is pretty fun. Is that some big jumps, Bo? What do you play on? PC. Or is there some big jumps? How about this, Bo? <laughs> Where is there a map with big jumps? <laughs> Mega Park? There might be some big jumps on that one. Um, Camp Woodward? Playground. I feel like OBC Complex has some big jumps. Is this awesome? Oh. <laughs> we got a big jump. We're looking a little slim here, though. Hoodie with a hair. We need, we need a thick guy. Our legs are looking a little... What's Dave? Oh, Dave Mira. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're looking a bit more husky here. Hitting the mega ramp. No helmet needed. Oh, that jump works really good. <laughs> See if we can hit this transfer first try. No. The game did not know what I was doing there. Just the biggest dip three. <laughs> oh my god, of course we didn't land that. Where is this? This is uh the OBC complex. God, that was really bad. Uh, do you know if you'll get the f if you'll get the full game early? Like me personally? Um, I don't know. I haven't really talked to Mash all that much about that. Maybe I got Pipe early, so maybe. Do I have a dirt jump map? No, I don't. I'm not a big dirt jump fan. Dipped seven? I don't think I've ever tried to do that. Mr. Potato, 1956? God damn, is that how old you are? We should swap names. Although that wouldn't make sense for me, but... You're getting up there, man. That's sick. God, I suck at hitting big jumps, bro. This is not good. Do as many spins as you can. 1080? 1440? Uh, I don't know. That's not that's not that fun for me. So is this an early thing or is this in the map? Also kind of new to your channel, do your content. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Yeah, this is uh this is pipe by BMX Streets and it's heavily modded. Um so this is a mod map. This is a mod map that's been out for years at this point. God, okay, get me off the mega ramp, dude. I'm not, I don't hit mega ramps. And if I do, I just do silly stuff over them. I would really love to hit this transfer here. No, that's not gonna happen. Oh, it's your grandpa's birthday. Okay, that's making a bit more sense. <laughs> I, say, I didn't know 
I don't know. I had that kind of demographic. Passed away in 19... Due to heart attack. So, I, so you carry his birthday. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, let's get some epic transfers into the course on the right. Dude, I'm trying, Po. I guess we could straight from that, maybe. I've done that before. Kind of like into this section right here. First try. Oh, uh, no. We could do that, though. Oh, God. Second try, Bo. Oh, God. We were going to hit a sick hip transfer there, but... Okay, that was <laughs> going to work. The even bigger one? Oh my god. Oh, that's a vert wall. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, you're turning 20. You do have your grandma. But I do have my. Oh, grandma. Says I have a very macho voice. Mm. Thanks, grandma. I appreciate that. Seems like a cool grandma. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Macho voice? She sounds like a very smart, wise grandmother. You're very lucky. She sounds like she knows what she's talking about. That's all I know. Far left kicker? Wait, you want me to transfer from this one over into the park? I don't know about that one. You know what we could do, though? Wait, I don't know why I'm pausing. Resume. Uh, we could go here... We could, we could Lance Armstrong our rider here and, and pump up his stats a little bit. Uh, let's just give him a bit more force when he pedals. Why not? All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna. Okay, transfer into. Oh man, if we get a bit more, if we do the manual pop there, we might be able to. We might be able to transfer into there. Let's try the old manual pop. Oh, into a grind. <laughs> okay. Okay. We meant to do that. We definitely landed into a smith. Hard one any. Learned that in Spencer's how to. Um. Uh, do you get mod maps in this game same way as Skater XL? Uh, yeah, sort of. You just go to like mod.io or like a uh, modding Discord like Volution and you just download them. And um, the modding for this game is definitely a bit more difficult, but essentially, yeah, the same same thing. Uh, do you have a snow planet near you? If you do, can you make a vid in it? A snow planet? I don't even I've never even heard of that, Noah. For someone in her mid sixties. She's very tiny and adorable, but insanely fragile. So I often stay at her place. Will the lawn vacuum? Take the trash out. What a nice grandson. Only the most Polite, fine young gentleman, watch this channel. Okay, what was that? This map takes me back to when you first mounted pipe. Yeah, this this map is this map is old. This was one of the uh, one of the the two point maps that was. God, I'm riding it so bad. I'm sorry. I really want to hit that transfer again.
That transfer grind is like Riders Republic stuff? Yeah, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. That's like more like Riders Republic though. Uh, clearly haven't met my little brother. Um, get some Dragon Slayers for Spencer? Oh yeah, I forgot we had that trick in here. I don't even know if he's still in here. He's probably hitting some realistic 1v1s in Fortnite. It's this place where you can snowboard in the spring? Oh my god, I need that. God, I need that. I'm here. Okay. What the hell do we do a dragon slayer on? Would you chill out down there, Dory? Put some cool setups with dragon slayer on the rail, maybe? Dragon slayer down this handrail? That'd be wild. We could hit the fakey dragon slayer. Um, how old am I? I just turned 26 on Thursday. Okay, maybe make sure I know <laughs> the right one here. What do we just do on this rail? No foot can was not in the, the plan there. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks so bad, dude. It's so buggy. Slow down for this for this maneuver. Okay, he didn't want to do that. That's unfortunate. Can I not manual these rails? I don't think I can. Oh, there we go. Pegs to Dragon Slayer. Yeah, this game is just not liking those. I'm just... <laughs> this is not good. Do it on a slanted wall. You know what Bo really wants to see? He wants to see this. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Why do the manual modifiers never work fucking good? I was trying to get the rocket manual to whip. God, it never pops into it when I want it to. Oh, you didn't throw the whip. There it is. Out of the bank. Okay, my God. Nice. He's not really throwing it from the pegs like Spencer does, though. Not really throwing it from the... Rocket backlash to down whip? Or not. What modded tricks do I have? We got lots. I couldn't even name them all. Uh, like what, we got foot jams, foot jam whips. Uh, there's like the whiplash that's broken at the moment. Um, the Superman seat Indian or whatever. I don't even know what that trick's called. It, uh, we've got bike flips. We've got we've got Superman tail whips. If I can even figure that one out, like I don't know. There's so many, so many modded tricks. I have no clue. Respectable. I'm trying to, I don't know why I was trying to rock it. Ice pick this rail. I don't even think that's possible. Okay. 
What's my FA? What does that even mean? What does it make a model of my first car? Um, I don't actually have a car. Um, I kind of did for a while, and it was just like a... What was it? It was like a 2007 Impala, I think. Chevy Impala. What flatland tricks do I have? Not much, man. We got that. That's pretty much it. Favorite video part? That's a tough one, to be honest. I want to say the video... I mean, I don't know. When I think of favorite video part, I just think of like some of the first BMX videos I ever saw. And that I watched a lot, which was like Nike 6.0, Riding on the Wall, Animal, Can I Eat, and This is United. Nice case. Huge case. I don't really know. Quick, what's 9 plus 10? 21. Um, yeah, I don't know. Favorite video part. The Deadline video is awesome. I don't really know, to be honest. I don't know if I have a favorite video part, just favorite like BMX videos. Favorite video part? I mean, Garrett's section from Deadline, I guess. So it was a classic. Oh, that Zat, that one Zat Gerber is pretty wild, where he does the flare off the loading dock. Marvel or DC? Uh, I don't really know. Can I eat? Watch this so many times. Yeah. I used to have like an iPod. Uh, Nano, I think is what it was. It was like a little chubby square iPod that you could play videos on. And I used to watch uh, Nike writing on the wall. Or Nike 6.0 writing on the wall. The Can I Eat and also This Is United. And I just used to watch those all the time. That was, B that was BMX for me. I had the Ride BMX magazines, and I had, like, those three videos to watch for the first, like, year or two of riding. I had dial-up internet. Like, I couldn't really go on YouTube and watch videos, really. And that was still, like, at a time where, like, there wasn't, like, really BMX videos on YouTube, really. It was just, like, everybody was making, like, video parts for DVDs. Mike Spinner did some cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he did. It's funny to watch back now, though, because Mike Spinner's riding street, and it's like, damn, I could pull some <laughs> some better street maneuvers than this. <laughs> what are these fucking questions, guys? Boxers or briefs? Um... If I'm being completely honest, I don't even know what a brief is. Is that like tidy whities? Like, what is what is a brief? I'll tell you what I wear. I wear sacks. If you guys know what sacks are, then you know what I'm talking about. S. What is it? S. S A double X. You can search those up. That's what your boy wears. That's 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 all. That's all you guys should be wearing out there. X up and mix a hang five into it. I got you, Kyle. X up and mix a hang five into it. My hang fives are kind of broken, so like when I get out of it, I'm going to land like that, unfortunately, but that's just what it is right now. Um, but we could do like an X up grind over into a hang five 180, but then we're broken, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
The old, uh, fave pet hair? Like, what? Etnies Ford is the best BMX movie to this day? I don't think I've seen that one. I might have seen it. Not anymore. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, Mr. Potato. The old Harry Main edits were great, but he sold out. Yeah, Harry Main had some wild videos back in the day. The Harry Manias or whatever. Yo, thanks to the real uh, PJ. Enjoy the rest of your day. I need to be briefed on what briefs are. Absolutely, dude. I, maybe I'm missing out. Yeah, sacks are the best, so. Uh, Tidy Whitey's are indeed briefs. Okay, I can't say I've ever owned a pair of uh, briefs. Although, like, I guess, in a way, sacks are kind of like a combined version of briefs and boxers. Because if you're not familiar with what a facts are, let me give you a little education here. Let me, let me learn you what sacks are. Sacks are like athletic boxers. So super breathable. Fairly uh, stretchy, tight, form-fitting. And they have like a liner that goes between your junk and your inner thigh. Which I'm assuming is what it would feel like to wear briefs. But I don't know. So it's like you get the compartment for the junk, which I guess is kind of what briefs do. But then you get the nice long boxers, which help with thigh chafing. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to act like I know what the hell these boxers are even made for. But realistically, I just like the way they feel and wear them, so. Huge disaster to 180. My god, it's been a while since we've rode this map. Uh, I'm going to use a bathroom. Uh, but while I do that, let me just play you the best video on this map that I just thought of. I totally forgot I did. Uh, let me go to my channel. It's one of my more popular videos. But we will be back, and we're going to keep playing. I don't really got much to do. We just do a long, long video for you guys. Um, there it is. I'll just go to the parts where I played in this map, which are starting right here. Let me go display capture. Pull this guy out. Let me just uh, make sure it's on the highest settings here. 1080p. Oh, it's going to look kind of bad. All right. Uh, let me just do this. Yeah, we'll be right back. You can watch this. I got to play without the sound, though.
Oh my god, that's cringe. That must have been weird. I don't know how long I talked at the end of that video. Oh, you just watched that for way too long. Oh, that's... I'm sorry about that. My dog had to go out. My dog also had to pee. So... Blame that little bugger. Nice. Nose man over front flip. Let's just actually try that maybe. That works. Cool. Okay. I think we're going to get off this map. Where can we go now? Uh, let's go. Hmm. Oscar's old outdoor park. New house. House night. Oscar's street map. Oscar's warehouse. What's this one looking like? Let's see these sacks, bro. Oh god. Work five. Yo, thanks for stopping by. Yo, thanks for everybody that's like stayed while I just leave. Try to believe. My bad. That's just what's that's just what's gotta happen when you stream for this long. I normally only stream for like an hour. And it's been two hours. This is the biggest flip to double peg. God, we're just definitely meaning to to do that for sure. I wish I could do that Harry Main thing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen Harry Main on his Instagram lately, but he's doing some weird foot jam stuff. Huge channel. Hmm. Uh, please say hi to you. Uh, what's going on, Ray? Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, can we get nose manual to double bar off that tall edge at the respawn point? Oh, well. Um, unfortunately, you cannot, but we will do something in here. Here's a tall ledge to flat. Sorry. Goofy ah tricks. Did someone say goofy tricks? Sick. Polyester lowers your sperm count? <laughs> well, let me tell you. I know for a fact there's nothing wrong with my sperm count. Let me <laughs> um, Spencer been hanging around Chad too much. <laughs> Oh, I see what you're saying. I show you about my sex. <laughs> Jesus. Um, crank arm hard 360. I can't even drop in here. Is there a spot we can crank arm hard three in here? I mean, technically, yeah. I guess we do it on this A-frame rail. Crank arm 
crank arm hard oh god oh god Three sixty switch down whip to table Kevin Peraza style. I don't know if we can do that. Let me get this uh, crank arm first. <laughs> Apparently, I was going over to the ledge there. Crank arm hard. What if we did a crank arm over hard three? What would that look like? Ah. I love doing grind combos in a park. This is sick. That was an easy three. My god. Dude, spinning hard 360s out of any grind in this game is just... An absolute chore. The silent screams. Crank arm 720. Yeah, that's definitely going to work a lot better than what we're trying here. The problem is, is I'm doing a hard three like that. Like That's the problem. Like, I could easily... Okay, we're hitting invisible walls. Oh, man, imagine. Don't lose it. We almost lost it, boys. We almost lost it. Almost lost it. Oh yeah, there's a 360 down whip to table. And a two sev. I just don't know if I can do it that good here. Oh, we're getting a lot of speed there. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't terrible. I tried to like dip it. case almost had the seven oh we could definitely do a seven if we do it like the easy way but it's just not fun uh works well for hot fire or what the arizona dreamers have you tried to rotate the analog stick to spin faster works well for hot fives and hard spin tricks I don't think it works that well out of grinds. I've definitely tried it a bunch. What's up? All right. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Rotating my analog stick. All right, so this is I did not. Whoa. That was straight up a. Oh, okay. That was the best tie ride I've ever done. I didn't do the input. We just kind of landed on it like that. All right. Let's air here. Let me do one. Let me just start off by saying I know how to do like this, the quick spins. All right. By rotating the stick. I'm p positive that that is not going to make any sort of difference for me here. Right, so pegs. That was without spinning the stick. Okay, let's spin the stick this time. We're gonna spin the stick like there's no tomorrow. Okay, we had more speed, but I don't know. I don't think I don't really think that's gonna do much for me. I feel like I've definitely over the years. Tried to uh, wait. Let me not spin the stick since I'm hitting this a little bit different now. Sick. I feel like maybe I'm getting a bit more, 
but see that time I didn't spin the stick and I just I somehow almost spun a hard five <laughs> no see I'm basically doing the same thing that was you can tell when I when I spin the stick because he puts the handlebars in his lap see like I can hot five off that. Ooh, wait, the smith, that kind of worked pretty good. Sick. Kind of got a spin in the circle? Yeah, dude, I, I know how to do it. <laughs> I've been playing this game and tested this game uh, since, like, 20, 2017. That's why I was like, yeah, like, I know how to do it, right? Like, look at mm, Hop seven. Um, it's just, it doesn't really make a difference for me. Oh, ice hard. Wait, what? Oh, but that was a, that was switch. Maybe that's why. Cause I've never done switch. If we can do that this way, then, then we're golden. But maybe that's why. Maybe just, I'm pretty sure I've never been able to have that Let's do the same thing switch. I'm actually super hella annoyed if it only works on this side. Dude! Okay, so that's why that's never worked for me. Do you do you play the game left foot or right foot forward? It's it straight up doesn't work when I spin the way I want to spin, which is regular for uh You do you ride left foot forward? Because the only way I really ever try hard 180s out of grinds is when I'm doing it on the right side. Because I ride right foot forward in real life. And I, I don't know. I don't really do a lot of switch grinds to hard spins in this game. But that is definitely... You're 100% right. When I, when I go on do like a switch grind and a switch hard spin, it definitely speeds it up. Which is funny. I've just never tried that because... I've never really cared to do switch spin hard 180s. I've always just wanted to do. Oh, that's hella annoying, dude. There's no way it works that way and not on this side. It straight up doesn't work on that side. Try it switch footed, but that's the... Switch to left foot forward and grind on the right side. Will you ride right foot forward? There's no way this works. Look at how awkward it looks for the guy to ride left foot forward. It looks so weird. No, it still doesn't work that way. I have the old pipes version though. This is 1.9. See, like easy spins, I can spin all day. Okay, we really need to to hit that properly. Dude, it's... That's so annoying. So you can left foot forward regular pegs hard spin out and actually do that to spin faster. But not right foot forward. Interesting. Well, that's kind of no help for me, unless I just want to do switch hard spins, which I guess we could. But yeah, I'm doing like, obviously I know how to do it. We can do a switch, but regular is just really not working like that for me. And my guy just, we're hitting a new map. We are hitting a new map. Let's go to Pipeline High School. I'm, I'm doing pretty good, Victor. How are you doing? Just sitting here, sipping on some Rasengan. <laughs> because.
because they say right foot forward is goofy. Yeah. They just... <laughs> there's some tricks you just can't do right foot forward because he's just... The creator adds left foot forward. Three sixty tail whip, down whip to barsman. I don't know if there's anywhere we could do that on this map. To be honest with you, the ultimate request. Uh, is there a jump anywhere here where I could do a three sixty down whip, tail whip to bar? Pretty sure there isn't. I mean, we could do it there. It's just, it's just gonna look stupid as all hell because we're just hitting it off a big jump to flat. We're missing, missing a couple tricks there. 360 nose bonk? Come on now. And the 360 nose bonk over. Absolutely losing my camera here. Camera has returned. Thank you. Gonna come in for this big stupid 360 down whip whip bar. Okay, we're not doing that. We'll hit that up on the next map. Love the con yo, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you I'm glad some of you guys enjoy the vids. Oh, let's just, now that we know, we can hard spin five out of opposite grinds. Or at least get a nice three. Dude, that's so annoying. Just about to start playing left foot forward in this game. Yeah, Tyrone, that's just how it works in real life, too. Like, if you do an easy spin, you can, you can always spin more on that, but... We're in a video game, so that should just really not matter. And it doesn't make sense that I can do an opposite five from an opposite double peg, but I can't do a normal 360 out of a normal double peg. Please stay right foot forward. Oh my god, yeah, that's that's a joke. I can ride left foot forward. And even if I did ride left foot forward, then I'd be, I'd be riding goofy. Which also just doesn't matter. Because I can only do it the one way. Give me my feedback. He'll fix. Oh, it's definitely fixing streets. I've already seen him do uh, uh, pegs like hard 540 and stuff like that. And he, he, I'm pretty sure in all the clips he's posted, he rides right foot forward. All right, here we go. Oh my! We can get the bar out. Dude, it's so hard to do that stuff with this controller. I'm using a Switch Pro. Or sorry, it's not even a Switch Pro controller, but it's it's a controller for the Switch. And if any of you guys have played on the Switch, you know just how small the thumbsticks are. My thumbsticks are extremely s small right now. Well, Nolly Suey? How long have I been riding BMX myself? I think my first BMX bike I got, um, uh, would have been like 13. Um, and yeah, that was a We The People reason or something. It was one of the like entry level uh, complete bikes. And then to be honest, I don't even think I went into a skate park for like almost two years. I just kind of rode around on flat ground. <laughs> just did like the 180s and manuals. And yeah, I just turned 26 the other day. Um, but I didn't really 
it's kind of weird. I would say I rode a lot up until the age of like 16. And then I want to say from like, si from like, or maybe 17. And then like 18, 19, 20. I really didn't ride like at all. And then I started my YouTube channel, uh, I think when I was 20. And it was all gaming stuff. And then I think, yeah, when I was like maybe like 21 and stuff, I, I really started uh, riding a lot, a lot more. And like the, the past two years, I've rode more than ever, which has been great. I'm requesting a wall ride over the picnic table gap. Oh, are you talking about this over here? Like, hit the picnic table wall ride and land in the other one? I don't think I've... I don't actually think I've ever hit that, to be honest. Let me practice my wall rides. Let me hit a quick practice lapse. Try one on this one. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, pretty sure I've never tried this before. Oh my god, we almost got a first try. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was really bad. It'd be kind of sick, though, if we landed maybe, like, in a nose manual on that second bench. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the setup is tough. Oh, my God, dude. We're slowly going downhill here. Okay, I don't know about the nose manual. Can we manual to wall ride? Oh, gap right over. We're like a manual. Okay, that was kind of technical. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to go from the other way and do like a... It would be sick to do a 180 to wall ride, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Alley of Ruben, maybe that's maybe that's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, okay, a little tire bunk. <laughs> Not really a wall ride. Hmm. A 180 on would be sick. God, the wall rides are so tough. When new IRL BMX video? I don't know, to be honest. I've been meaning, I, I, I've been meaning to make one. Maybe, uh, maybe this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometime this week, maybe we can get one. Oh, I'm pretty busy this week, though. Maybe yeah, we'll try to get one out this week. All right. Your first bike was a reason? Nice. Yeah, we the people make some sick, sick bikes. What's the difference between a 360 and a hard 360? Uh, so it's actually when you're when you're doing a when you're spinning out of grinds, there's either either a hard 360 or an easy 360. Um, let's go over to this bench real quick. So an easy 360 is when you're spinning into the ledge like this, right? Um, and the reason it's easy is because when you spin into the ledge. You can you basically can just pull a perfect 180 without any interference from the ledge. When you do a hard 180, uh, you have to pull out away from the ledge, which means your tire is going to rub on 
the ledge itself. Like if you look at my back tire, you can see in the game it kind of in the game he kind of like pulls it up and over the ledge, uh, which in real life it's it's more like you're pulling away from the ledge kind of, unless you're an absolute savage. And there's people that do hard 180s just straight up and over the ledge, but yeah. Easy 180 is when you're spinning into the ledge. Hard 180 is when you're spinning uh, away from the ledge. If you ride in real life, it's it's really like just spinning like this is just easier. Spinning out of the ledge is just harder. That's why we call this a hard 180. Pull-out game is strong though, so yeah. It's all easy in game. You stream in 1440p? Yes, I do. We've got that fiber optic internet. We can afford some 1440p streams. It's also just what I play in. I'm not sure if the streams actually look that much better. I think they do if you if you watch them in 1440p. But just afterwards, it looks really good compared to a 1080p stream. And uh, I was actually kind of surprised how much of my viewers watch me on their TV. Uh, like if you go into your YouTube analytics, um, you know, it gives you a lot of information. And, and one of them is the types of devices people watch you on. It's primarily cell phones. And um, I think it's cell phones was like the one of the bigger ones. Where it's like at least half of my audience watches on their cell phone. Um, and, and like the other ones are like split up between PC, um, TV, and then there's there's something else. I can't remember what the other one is. But a lot of people watch me on TV, so the higher quality streams and videos I can do, the better. Just because we gotta we gotta look after the TV viewers, man. We can't have them watching blurry videos. Do you drive MBX in real life? Yes, we do. You guys want to see a, a IRL BMX clip? Let me just find one real quick for you. Let's go to me Google Photos. Uh, 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 here's one from the other day. me it's just a tech it's the tech guy nothing too too fancy I think there's another one on here not too long ago for me What am I looking for here? Fuck. I got some stuff from like earlier, early this year. Oh, this one's kind of cool, actually. We got the, the little bump jump into an over switch pegs easy. We love an easy 180, mainly because, well, they're easy. Especially out of the switch bags, it's like ultra easy. It's, a, it's like a free trick. I don't know what this is. We'll take a look at this. The wind is going crazy. Yeah, this is just like all stuff I post like my Instagram story. Actually, I don't even think I posted this one anywhere. Just, yeah. Just a random clip. Oh, we'll show one more. Yeah, we watch this one, I guess.
I thought I had another clip attached to that, but whatever. Oh, yeah, it was this. But we already saw something similar to this, so we're not going to show that. Show you what I, I wish I was doing, though. I wish I was doing this right now. I wish I was hitting the snowboards. Oh, my God, that's so bad. It's not the right clip. It's not the right one. Some breaks on, do a real fufu. I don't even think my frame, dude. I don't think I've had a bike frame that's had brake mounts on it in forever. I don't think. I don't even think my frame has brake mounts. Biggest jump I ever hit? Uh, I have no clue, to be honest. On my bike or my snowboard? I don't know. I've definitely hit way bigger jumps on my snowboard than on my bike. Ever try fixed gear? I used to have a fixed gear. I didn't do like tricks or anything on it though. You watch 240p on stolen Wi-Fi. <laughs> Fave riders? Felix Sprangberg at the moment. Mark Burnett. I love Mark watching Mark. Simone Sick. Everyone's favorite rider, Garrett Reynolds. I don't know, there's so many good ones. Eric Elstrand, it's always fun to watch. It's hard to say. I don't really have a favorite to be honest. Maybe Felix. I would say Felix is a guy I've been soaked on the most. Felix is insane. What mods do I use for pipe? Uh, pretty much every single mod that's out for for this. Um, like we use the Trick Speed mod, Frosty Peak Game Manager, Player Importer, Map Importer, and the Garage. I think I think that's pretty much it. I think that's it. One last trick request before I go to bed. Helicopter 180 to toothpick whip to fakie? Oh my god. Uh, you're learning BMX, actually, and don't know what trick to begin with. Any advice? Learn basics. Bunny hop, 180, one-hander, no-hander, one-footer. Yeah, I would say if you're learning to ride BMX, uh, it's important to... I mean, it's definitely doable to ride and learn by yourself. But if you have any friends that ride BMX, or you can go to a local skate park and find someone that can help you and tell you what you're doing wrong, that's probably the the best thing you could do it's probably the best tip i could give is find other riders that can help you in real life um but yeah you're gonna want to learn to hop like this not both tires at the same time but yeah you're gonna learn to hop once you get good at hops you can look at spinning um youtube is gonna be the best place i'm pretty sure even spencer um who's been in the channel a couple times tonight if you if you look up spencer forsman on youtube if you somehow are here and not aware of who he is he's got like uh beginner bmx tutorials and stuff like that but yeah you're just gonna want to learn how to get comfortable on a bike and learn bike control which is basically gonna be you know getting comfortable hopping go to a skate park ride up and down some ramps uh get comfortable leaning back on your bike and looping out and stuff like that yeah It'll be, it'd be really nice if, if you could go to a skate park and, and meet up with another rider or something. Or if you have a friend. 
YouTube's a great spot though for for how tos. God, my my pivots are broken again. The trick? Oh, I don't know if I can do that to be honest. What was it? Biggest jump I had. Yeah, I don't really know. On a snowboard, I maybe hit like a uh, like a 30 or 40 foot jump, maybe. I don't really know. BMX. Never really hit any big jumps. There's no big jumps near me. I've hit the pro line at Jar Ride. There's not really. I wouldn't really consider those bigs. I think I. I or I aired the 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 Drew box at Jar Ride. Drew Bazanson box. I don't really. I don't know a measurement on that though. And it's changed so much over the years. It's actually bigger now than it was when I hit it. It's like a step up now. Yeah, what was that? It was like a... It was a helicopter. God, what was it? Worst BMX industry... Indus Wait, where was that? Helicopter 180 to toothpick tail whip to fakie. Can't really hop out of the fakie tooth, I don't think. God, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Oh, it is happening. Okay, cool. I'm thinking of getting that We The People frame that had disc brake mounts. Oh my god, dude. Why? Why would you do that? Isn't the geometry on that frame, like, stupid long? Uh, worst BMX industry? I've actually gotten pretty lucky. I've never really gotten too, too hurt. Um, I'd say the worst thing I got was... Uh, got it. It, it was, like, pretty much... Right when I started riding, I, I, put, I put on four pegs, looped that out a manual, and I got a third degree sprain on my, uh, I think it was my right ankle. Um, and so basically, what I was told was, is that it was technically worse than if I had just broken my um, ankle. Because I guess because my ankle didn't break, uh, it actually stretched out like the tendons and ligaments uh, further than if it, my ankle just broke. So it took a lot longer for uh, it took a lot longer for the muscles to heal up, and my ankles have never been the same since. Like if I'm doing any sort of like serious riding or trying anything, like I have to wear ankle braces. Because if I if I'm doing anything where I got to jump onto my feet and I don't have ankle braces, like it's not taking much for me to roll an ankle, which kind of sucks because that it was like within like the first year or two of me learning to be max, <laughs> which sucks. And I rode it for a very long time without ankle braces. I would just constantly be getting sprained ankles. What kind of riding do I like? Yeah, like uh, like Jibby Tech Street stuff, I guess. If you're here to watch any of those clips of me riding, like that's pretty much all I do. Crazy to see them get disc brakes. Yeah. We the people's a street brand? Not really. Kinda, I guess. I would say their biggest riders are street riders. That's for sure. But they have like uh, they have like trail frames and stuff like that, or park frames. Pretty much every BMX company, for the most part, has like a street frame, park frame. Bubikas and Fufnus in the rain with disc brakes? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, OG. What the hell are you doing riding out in the rain? You're going to get clip-in pedals too, so you don't have to worry about your feet slipping? 
He might as well just get a mountain bike. The only place that I can ever see someone wanting disc brakes... Like, it doesn't even make sense. Like, the amount of bent rotors you would have putting disc brakes on a BMX is just so stupid. You, you would be going through rotors like crazy. You have a 27 inch... 27 inch? Oh, like a 27.5. It's too big. I have friends that have like 29 inch mountain bikes and are smarter than me and they get tech and do like foof news and abubikas on them. Not, I mean, not in a skate park, but don't tell me that's too big. Yo, have a good one, Noah. Oh wait, bye bye. And then immediately says, how excited am I for streets? I'm like, I'm very excited. Very excited. What's my opinion on Scoot? Uh, Scoot's fun. New update's kind of funny. It's cool seeing other people. Okay, new map. Get a trail spike. I, I always forget to put the chat on live chat. We've been on top chat this whole time. I'm sorry. I don't really know how much of a difference that actually makes, but I'm sure it makes some sort of difference. This breaks don't make sense with pegs for... This is pegs. Just for dirt jumps or skate park use with no pegs. Yeah, yeah, obviously. But I'm saying even like without pegs, like... All it's going to take is for you to drop that bike on the concrete. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess realistically, the front rotor would probably be fine. But the rear rotor, you're definitely bending some of those. If you want to, yeah. I, I'll i never not just have like a street bike. Like my bike is not light. It's also like not super heavy. Imagine we hit that to a foot jam. Oh my god, that would have been insane. I don't even think that's possible. That would have been so sick. He does not want a foot jam from that. I mean, I don't blame him. That'd be a that'd be a tough foot jam to hit. Count it. Count it. Where am I? Uh, can you foot jam to front flip in this? Like down a drop? I never got round to getting BMX five. I mean, you definitely could. Um. think you could at least right like you could definitely like foot jam it's gonna be hard yeah you would need a big drop probably it doesn't really uh, I mean maybe if you went something more along 
Like if you popped into a uh, like a nose manual quickly. Oh yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really want a front flip after that. I don't know. We could try. I mean, we basically have to do it up here. Okay, so that for some reason worked. Oh yeah, he just wants to go into a grind there, it looks like. Yeah, maybe? Yeah, like, it's definitely possible. Yeah, we could maybe, like, drop ice into a foot jam, then hit a front flip, foot jam to front flip. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, took your hybrid bike going on street... Wait. Took your hybrid bike going on street mountain bike spots... In your area with brakes now. Try guard, it was fun. Uh, you would hate my bike. Metal pegs, straight cable, small tires. 13.7 back end, 9 inch bars with a front load stem. Hey, Obo, thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, to be honest, OG, I, I don't think I would actually hate that. Um, I would just have to ride like you. Right, like I just wouldn't I wouldn't be doing a Pegs Hard 3 on that bike, that's for sure. I can barely do that on my bike. Um But my uh my favorite bike I ever had was a Sabrosa uh I can't remember the name of it, but it was Kevin Kalkoff's signature frame and it had a thirteen point five rear end slammed. God, it's so hard to get right to the edge there. Um, but yeah, that was probably my favorite frame ever. The manuals on that thing were super nice. Yeah, I don't know. The old man flow around the setup. Yeah, riding, you can, I bet you can lock into a manual so good on that. I, I have a second bike. I, I don't have it set up anymore. Just because I, uh, oh, actually, you know what? I took my free coaster back off. We're back on the cassette. I could set it back up. But I have, like, an old McNeil frame. That's that's probably, like, a 13.2 to 13.5 rear end. Um, there's no brake mounts on it, or else I would put a straight cable. Um, but yeah. Low handlebars, all that stuff. This shit's so fun to manual. It's so easy. Probably not a bike I would want to stay on, but I would love to, to try it out for sure. I love trying other people's bikes. Oh, Mick C? Is that the Mick C? Manual for days. That's a, that's the only thing, like, that's the only reason I want to get a new frame. But realistically, that's not going to happen for a long time. Probably at least another year or two. I really like the Doomsayer. But if there is one thing I would like, it's definitely a, a little bit longer back end. I think the Doomsayer is 12.7 slammed. And I think... I think I want like a... I don't know. I don't really... I feel like I want like 13 to 13.2 or something like that. It is, bro. What's going on, Mixie? Um, I mean, yeah, I would check out a map from you. Why not? Good morning. Yo, what's going on? Scary? Is it morning for you? Jesus. It's 4.10 p.m. for me. Oh, look, 
terrible. First aftermarket frame was a McNeil team frame. 14-2 back end. Oh my god. Yeah, let me let me look up what I have. Because mine is like the street McNeil frame. It's the McNeil Barato. Uh, McNeil uh, Barato. I think it's the V2. Okay, I can't open up Vital BMX. Let's look up this one, BMX Union. Wow, that's actually the color I had it in everything too. Um, wow, where's the specs on it? 303, yeah, I can, where, where are the specs, man? 2011 McNeil Barado. I, I can't even find specs on it. Please find me. Oh, here it is. Specs? Yeah, it has a 13.2 rear end. 13.2, 75 degree head. 75 degree he head tube for a 2000, like. Wow. I had the V2, though. Well, this is a V2, okay. Yeah, man. 11.75, 13.2. That's actually not bad. The frame's still good. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind riding it again, but yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I'm just sitting here. You found a 13. Yeah, it was a 13.2. That bike is so easy for me to manual on. That's kind of crazy that I I went from that to the Sabrosa, which was a 13.5. Oh, that didn't really work how I wanted it to. Let's try that again. Um, kind of. Uh, got a map for you to play around on? Yeah, sure. Uh, do I have you on Discord? I feel like I do. Guys, we're checking out a brand new map. Did you post it in here? No. Surely I have you on Discord, right? Oh, yeah, I see you. Oh, you've already sent it to me. Oh, it's X Games. Ooh. I'm just gonna get that downloaded real quick. Let me just go into my custom maps folder. About 11 seconds. Let's drag that in. It's been added. Okay. So, or actually, let me come back here. Let's go here. Now, if we go here and we go. Oh, oh, reload. It was right at the top the whole time. Oh, I see the street section. Wait, what? What is this? 
Is this like multiple X Games courses or? I feel like I recognize this one, but this is like from a super old X Games, is it not? Come on, camera. Catch up. Catch up. Hey, what's going on, uh, Haynes? Or Hane? I can't remember. I remember you told me how to say that name. But I have a pea brain, so I already forget. But not stay locked in, yeah, absolutely, OG. Absolutely. It's kind of like the same thing I think about with uh, like fork offset. Is I've had 20, 20 mil offset forks, and right now I have R25s, and I always like contemplate. Um, Going to shorter or, uh, or sorry, steeper or like less aggressive offsets. I think 25 is probably perfect though. Because 32 is just a bit much for me for like hang fives and stuff like that. Um, although I was trying to do like G turns and stuff recently and, uh, I don't know. I feel like having a, a smaller offset fork would definitely make getting into those easier, but like you say, like locking into it just becomes a bit more difficult then. Wait, was that a gap anybody actually ever hit? Okay, let me go to the 2023 one. Oh, you just go by XO, but nice you remember. Yeah, I remember. As soon as I saw the name, I'm like, I remember you telling me how to do this, but oh my god, wait, this is huge! Can I walk around? Or, or no, can't. Unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing any over pegs on this guy. <laughs> this is like so huge! Oh my god! It's it's always so funny to play these games. Or play these maps that you see in real life in game because it's just like this is massive. Alex Donicky hitting the the crook over that. Courage hitting the 180 crooks on these guys. Oh, is wait is the X Games playing on the screen over there? I wish I could get off my bike. It looks like it is. Is that... That is the 2023 X Games course over there. We can just come over here and watch X Games. Pat Casey with the 360 double whip to fakey. what Jeremy, Jeremy Malat's got. Is that a 360 triple whip? Oh, this must be best trick. There's no way this is a run. One, two, three. That was a triple whip. 360 triple? Is that even... Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but is that really all that impressive? Oh, Daniel Sandoval coming in. Huge hip. Oh, didn't he flare double whip bar? Or did, or did he flare triple whip? I can't remember. Let's, let's check out the slow motion. Let's 
checking out. I can't. I already can't remember. This was not that long ago. Okay, we're not seeing a slow motion. We're going right to Ryan, Ryan Williams. Going for the 900 flare. Oh, he did both of those? Okay. This is the regular flare, and then he comes back. Get a little lap in. Huge A? Straight into the 900 flare? Go! Oh! How do you not just absolutely die on that? Big lucky 180 on that guy. Let's get that Felix line. Oh, we just have too much speed because this shit's huge. And when Brock did that tire ride to switch switch one eighty switch five there, that was crazy. Wall ride the tower, dude. Look at how fucking huge this is. There's no way that's gonna happen. There's no way. Can I even air these quarter pipes high? Oh, we can. Look at how tall that is. Oh, and there, there's a lip there now. You gotta remove that, uh, Mick. So anyone that rides this is going to want to do that wall ride to tail up. Now, maybe it's possible with it there, but yeah, that should... I don't remember that being there on the actual thing. Yeah, I don't know. We're not going to mess around with that. Game name, please. This is Pipe by BMX Streets. Oh, he did both, eh? Sick. Did that gear out? Oh, okay. Okay. Dude. I just want to do Felix's trick there. Let me give you my 2023 X Games run if I was a professional rider. This would be my street. Street run. Start it off right here. Get a hop truck into this. Come over here. Flip whip down <laughs> the set. Come over here and do a hop 720. Oh, we can't pivot. Never mind. Huge flip to fakie on the quarter pipe just for fun because the quarter pipe tricks don't really count. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Go move for the next test. Nice. $15 if you want to support the guy. Uh, it's one guy making streets. Wait, what? Oh, is this game for free? No. I see what you're saying. I uh, got to the end. Oh, wait. Got to end with the hang nothing to get. Oh, yeah, the hang nothing to cannibal. <laughs> How about the hang nothing to Superman air? Quick as hang nothing. Oh wait, we got a transfer right here. Oh, or not. We gotta hit that up. Where's my physics at? Where's my mouse? My pedal force is up already, okay. Big Crisp wants an ice hard three. See if I can get that on this guy for you. I mean, we we have found out the stream that switch grinds 
you can spin way faster out of so i mean if i really wanted i would just do this yeah ice heart three <laughs> okay buddy come on now but let me do it like a real guy here it's ice hard three up this oh my god ice over hard three Yeah, we might just have to do the, the switch ice pivot. Or sorry, the switch ice uh, three. Yeah, it's so stupid how you, that just doesn't work. Unless we do it this way. We could do an ice hard five. God, I just want to hit that transfer there. Let me hit that transfer into Ice Hard 3. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it, bro. Yeah, we might die after that. 360 tire tap. I wish I could do that right now, but my game's a little broken. Huge ice R3. <laughs> totally realistic lines here. There been any updates on scooter flow recently no i've been i've been getting asked a lot to make a scooter flow video but i'm just waiting for an update on that game lol, lol, lol. yeah my game wait can i pivot this way oh yeah we can pivot that way so we get 360 tire tap or yeah 360 tire tap looks a little awkward but For some reason I can't pivot that way. Can I shout out Carter? Sure, shout out to Carter. Oh my god. How many maps are on vanilla? Like, th there's really three. Three maps, I would say. Technically four, but three. There's only three you're going to play. Count it. We count those. Super clean. It's not working at all. I should make a map. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. It's really difficult to make a map. Uh, do you do this stuff RL? Just find your channel and love in the... Yo, I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Uh, yeah, I ride BMX in real life and I snowboard. I'm obviously not doing any of the tricks that we do in this game in real life. Uh, but that should be kind of obvious. As there's not really anyone doing, you know, this. Like We're just doing really strange combinations of tricks. And very difficult ones. 
Like tail whip. Like tail whip. Like tail whip. Okay. Let me just clip through the ground real quick. Like, okay. Like tail whip pegs, 180 bars, you know, stuff like that. Like, no one's really doing that in real life. It's possible for sure. This ain't no one really doing it. Why does it take uh, so long for new maps to come out, bro? Also, I love your bid. Uh, for what? New maps for this game? If you're talking about like the vanilla version, like there's, that's the reason it's taking so long is because it's it's never been a thing that was ever gonna happen, I guess. If you're talking about mod maps, just like for PC, it's just because I feel like the hype for this game and the community is just like it's it's been a long time. It's just just not really people making stuff for it too much anymore. No, you mean mods? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's just because it, like it's just the hype is over, I guess, for pipe really. There's still like the odd map that comes out for it, but I mean it's basically like mixy. Um, there's like a couple of people that still make maps for it. Um, I think when when Streets comes out uh, later this year, um, I think we'll see. Uh, which is going to be awesome. A lot of the mod maps that were made for this get ported over into that game. Hopefully just like updated to look nice. And then we're also going to see obviously a lot of new maps for that game being made. But yeah, maps don't really come up for this too, too much anymore. I think it's just, it's just, it's old. old and I feel like the the, the game is just not way like way less people playing it nowadays I don't know if I was a map creator I would I would probably be making maps for like a game with a bigger community maybe I hope he doesn't delay the release I mean I more than it already has been delayed I, I hope not but I would say that the, the release has definitely been delayed a bunch. I remember last year he was saying, yeah, it'll be out before the end of the year. And then earlier this year, or at the end of last year, he was saying, like, yeah, it's going to be out spring 2023. Now we're into June. It is, like, up on Steam and stuff for, like, Wishlist. And it is saying it will be out this year. He posted on Instagram the other day saying the physics are 100% finished. Um, I think really all that's left in the game as far as development wise, he's pretty open with it in his discord. So, I mean, you could go there and see exactly what else he's doing, but I feel like it's just like finishing up the map and I think that's it. I think, I, I don't know. Could you fakey ice to backflip to fakey double peg the green rail gap? Oh, you're talking about at, at the X Games? Uh, yeah, we might have been able to. Oh, actually, I know what you're talking about. God, I mean... Yeah, maybe. See how good I can just even... 180 fakey ice to fakey backflip. That would have been really hard, though. Oh, yeah, we probably definitely could have done that. I mean, we could try it quickly. I think I know what setup you're talking about. Sick. Love that. Love that for myself. You're talking about right here, right? Like a 180 ice fakie backflip and gap to the <laughs> gap to that other rail. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just yeah. I think I need to do it from the other side for sure. 
Oh, see. That might be a problem. He might he might try to auto 180. Which is kind of out of my control. This is such a silly trick though. Oh my god. Yeah, let's try it from the other way, I think. Is Riders Republic worth buying? Uh, I mean, I think so. Especially with how cheap it goes on sale. Like, I see it for like 75% off all the time. Takes long and too much time. Oh, what? To make maps, Mick? Let me just see if we can even grind, gap grind here. Okay. Uh, it's just a pain to mod still. Same reason I don't play XL modding is a pain. Yeah. I would say as far as modding games go, XL is not too bad. This game, like, with the whole downgrade process and all that stuff, it's definitely super annoying. But yeah, like modding XL compared to modding this, like <laughs> modding XL is a bit of a walk in the park. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Try a couple more times. Yeah, I think, I think it's just going to auto 180 every time. I don't know why it does that. Yeah, he's just going to do that. Let's see if we can at least get a clean one, though. Hmm, not really pulling into the ice. I don't know. Something like that kind of gives me hope that maybe we could do it. But what a strange trick we are doing right now. This is like... Th I mean, I'm, all, I'm down for doing some unrealistic, silly stuff. But this is just next level. This is like something you see in a Riders Republic clip. Except it would be like a 182 tooth fakie backflip. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> we are not doing that anymore. Look at a simple bark. What map is this? This is a uh, one that's not out yet by Mick. It's, uh, it's a couple X Games parks. Landed your first tail up yesterday. Just wanted to let everyone know. Proudest I've ever been of myself. Oh, nice, Ruben. On a BMX bike? That's sick. How do you downgrade to pipe 1.9? Uh, you just... If you just... If you type that exact chat message in the YouTube search bar, you will find how to mod pipe videos. And then it'll tell you. Thanks for trying, yeah. It's just, this game does a weird thing sometimes where when you go to backflip onto a, like a grind, I'll see if I can do it anywhere else. It'll just like automatically do a 180. Um, and it's, it's, it's frustrating because sometimes you will do like just, like people have done backflips to grinds. Um, but yeah, this game just, you can see it, it, it really wanted to do like a 180 there for some reason. Yeah, see, it just like automatically spins you around. Doing the flips to grinds in this game are a little weird for that. I see a spine. We can. Oh god. Think that'll be your last map for pipe? Yeah, I mean, I understand that. Take a break, man. Been making maps forever.
pretty sure this map is from on a roll. I don't think so. This is a simple park by, was it Line Rider that made this? Who made this? Oh, Tezzerus. I mean, we can see, uh, actually we can go over here. I'm pretty sure there's a sign here. Yeah. This is a evolution modding map made by Tezzerus. I played on a roll. I'm not sure. I think I I think I know the park you're talking about, but it might have been inspired by that map, maybe. Definitely isn't the map though. God. Is anything happening with that game? Do people still play on a roll? Did the devs continue to work on it? I feel like they stopped working on it even when I made a video on it. Oh, it died. Is there any tutorials for map making? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I think there is in the Evolution Discord, maybe. If not in there, I'm pretty sure Skater Excel map creators have made tutorials. Um, so, I mean, you could start there. Oh, the Kickstarter failed, you think? Okay. Interesting. I don't remember thinking it was like bad or anything. I just maybe just inline's just not that popular. Like even when I just think to the skate park, there's only one guy at my skate park that rides rollerblades. And I've I've maybe seen like Maybe one or two other rollerbladers in real life ever, at, like at a skate park or anything. Any Riders Republic today? Uh, probably not, to be honest. You're you're almost in for a full-on week of Riders Republic in the next uh, not not this week, but the following week. You're gonna have a whole week of exclusive Riders Republic content. Um, then I'll just leave at that. And don't worry, it'll be really good. There's going to be a lot of YouTubers with a lot of exclusive Riders Republic content. So you just wait for that. If you like Riders Republic, you'll be stoked on all that. Um, but I probably won't be... Uh, I might upload a couple things this week, but I'm mainly going to be getting all that stuff ready. They say when skateboards are coming? Yeah, season 8, um, which I think, if I had to guess, just with how, how long uh, their seasons are, like we're, we're close to season 7, uh, and their seasons are generally anywhere from like 2 to 3 months long, so I would guess we'll see... We'll see skateboards probably like September, October, something like that. Similar to when we saw the BMX stuff the previous year, I think. Shredders? We did a Shredder stream a couple days ago. I've been playing Shredders too much. Yo, I dare you, downside whip to fakie to tuck no hand or bar spin out. You dare me, dude? You freaking... But his head's low-key going to the beat, man. Why is that happening? Dude's vibing. He 
really is. I truth you to flare bar. You truth me to flare bar, huh? I double truth you to... Well, anyways. Oh, we almost got the flare bar over the spine. Let's go ahead and hit the flare bar over the spine. Never mind. Uh, what was that that you wanted? A down whip to fakey. Fakey techno hander bar spin out. Down whip to fakey. Down whip to fakey. Techno hander bar out. Down the set? No. No. Down whip, fakey. Tuck, okay. Tuck to bar? Where the hell am I gonna do that? Sick, lovely. Down whip, fakey. Techno Hander foot jam to bar. Ooh, we can do that. Down whip, fake. Down whip, fake. Down whip, fakey. Yeah. Where can we do that? I just want to do somewhere cool. Uh, we, we, we're going to need something kind of big to do that off of. I could just like do it over like a jump probably. Down something big, yeah, for sure. It's just, I wanted to do it somewhere like kind of cool. Oh, there's a flare bar over the spine. All right. We got it in a line. Oh, let's just do it right here. Oh, or not. Okay, let's just redo the line. Why not? Flare double bar. Okay. <laughs> We're not too good at the flares. Jesus, what is happening with that? Oh. Cat. We got this first try. Flare bar over the spine. Huge fakie out. Little nolly up. When he down up. No, you bugger. Swear flares used to be easier? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this game that used to be easier from previous builds. Flare whip over the spine? The weirdest looking flare whip I've ever done. Pull nolly up. Down whip. Oh, this is it. Cab, tuck, bar. Oh, straight to flat. That was interesting. Been fun. Have a good day. Yo, Tyrone, thanks for stopping by, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your week. Do you have any trick mods or are your foot gem? Yeah, these are mods. That's a mod. Um, That one's not working. What else do we have for trick mods? We've got these guys. Uh, we've got these. We've got these. We've got lots of modded tricks. I'm saying like half my tricks are modded. New math, we could. Dude. 
Oh, is this a new map? Oh, no. No, we've only been playing old maps today. Greetings from Estonia, yo. What's the weather like out there? It's gotta be nice. Yo, I'm glad you enjoyed the videos, Liam. Thanks for stopping by. Streets too. we're gonna go there shortly. I might have broken the game though, I don't know. It's just kind of frozen sitting here. It's getting near summertime. Oh, okay. What's the name of this one? The one we were just on is called Simple Park. If you're in the Volution Discord, it's actually under Volution Maps, I believe. It's not under regular maps, it's under Volution Maps. 12 degrees Celsius? Oh my god, that's cold. I mean, it's not cold, but that's pretty cool. It's like, It was up to like 30 degrees Celsius here the other day. No problem, Noah. No problem. Getting near summertime. Wow. It's technically summer here in uh, like 20 days or something here. Uh, we'll just keep that player. Let's just change our camera quickly. Um, oh god, I gotta feed my dogs actually. It's been it's been getting kind of late. Uh, let's do this then. Let's click on that. Let's go here. Bam. 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 We're just gonna have to play you guys a video quickly. What can we play you? Let's do that old pipe one I posted. Videos. Uh, let's just post this or play this one. Just because it's kind of long and I've got a couple things to do. But we will be back and we'll be back streaming. Uh, but I'm just going to play a video for you guys. What controller are you using now? I remember when you had that weird third party Nintendo one. Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> you mean the one I'm using? Uh, yeah. We're still using that one. But I use this one a lot, which is like a dual sense. It's a scuff dual sense. And we've got an Xbox one. I've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom recently. And I definitely own that game and don't play it on my PC. And I've been using this one. But yeah, we're still we're still going strong on that guy. So don't be hating, okay? Don't be hating. We'll be right back. XJI two GDX wants a three sixty feeble to nose manual to bar out to manual to bar to hang five the truck driver out. <laughs> Calling the shots. Number five, it has been nearly four years since the last Calling the Shots video. And even in that video, I mentioned that it was three years after I made the third Calling the Shots video. If you're unfamiliar with what Calling the Shots is, basically you leave a comment telling me what trick you would like to see me do, and I do it. So leave a comment with a trick suggestion for the next video. I don't know when that video is going to come out. I mean, at this rate, it might be five years from now. We've got 262 comments on the last video. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing every single comment, but I will do quite a few. All right, we've got one here from Kian. Do an Anthony Panza line, long manuals, bar spin tail whips, and of course, a 540. All right. Quick little nose, and we'll get a bar manny tail whip, and then we'll just like 540 to flat this. Oh, easy. Nyxa wants a pull up bar spin manual to crank flip 360. Okay, let's just get it out of this bank, maybe. Ooh, a little under rotated, but kind of kind of steezy, honestly. Gonzalo, I'm not sure how to pronounce this name. I'm sorry, friend, uh, but they want a Fakey flat backflip tuck no ander and another one is a tail up to crank arm grind Okay, I mean tail up to crank arm grind. We can get that first try 
put in a little line here. Cool. All right. Fakey backflip tuck no hander. Okay, we got it forwards. Now, theoretically, it should just be the same thing, but backwards. <laughs> okay. Oh! We got it. Let's go. Gooder boy SP for calling the shots. Do the R Willie X Games line on a mega ramp. Flip drop. Front flip nothing. Maybe he means the nothing front bike flip. And then a front flare on the quarter. Would be so dope. All right. We got that. Backflip dropping. Nothing from bike flip. And then front flip flare. Ooh. Crazy X Elite for calling the shots 180 bar to fakey whip to full cab bar. Whatever you want out of it. All right, let's do it on that uh, same little box we hit earlier. Let's start off with a Smith 180 bar. All right, so full cap tail whip, full cap bar. And let's maybe get like a cab nose. Hey, nice, easy. Mythical for calling the shots front flip to back flip. Um, okay. All right, let's see how this goes. Front flip to back flip, okay. Front flip, back flip, does that count? Front flip wasn't fully rotated, but does it really matter when you're doing a front flip to back flip? I don't know if that really matters all that much. We got another name I cannot pronounce, uh, but they want an ice pick bar spin manual to double whip downstairs. Okay, well we don't have stairs, but we can also hit that uh, this bowl is like a little drop here. They want an ice pick bar manual to double whip. Easy. Let's go. Let's just keep the line going for a second because that was pretty, pretty simple. Oh. Fly out fronties? Okay, maybe not. Z Money Games for calling the shots. Feeble up a ledge to truck off, then land in a manual, then do a down whip into a bank and then 180 bar out it's a lot but i know you can get her done all right z money let's see if we can find a spot for is this a recording it was and now we're live uh yeah sorry guys i just had to feed my dogs um yeah hopefully you guys are doing well what are we doing we've been streaming for a while now hello yeah sorry I, I, we've been live we had to we had to feed the dog, so Maybe we just ride the pipe map for Do I still play Xbox? I have an Xbox. Uh, I've been playing one game on it from the Game Pass, but I mean I mainly play on PC. My girlfriend's usually watching something on the TV. Um, but in like a month or two, maybe even a little bit longer, maybe even shorter than that, uh, like I'm moving my whole setup to a different room. Um, and right now I play like on a TV, which is all right. Um, but I think I want something a bit different. Um, I've been playing on like a 4K OLED TV, which has been nice, but um, it's pretty big. It's a 48 inch TV that's sitting right in front of me. Um, it's not exactly right in front of me. It's it's The reason I have it is because I have such a huge desk and instead of doing what most people would do and making their desk not so deep, I just got a bigger monitor because it sat away from me. Um, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is when I move to the next room, uh, the room is, it's definitely slightly bigger than this. Um, but I think there's not going to be like all this stuff behind me, like other desks and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is set up the TV with like a little lazy boy or something and plug in like my Xbox and Nintendo Switch and that kind of stuff into it. And then that way I could, uh, I could make like a whole another setup with like a webcam or something and like when streets comes out or whatever like we could do like 
We could do like long ass console streams where I just have like an actual nice setup. <laughs> like this isn't that comfortable. It gets a it gets a little annoying to sit in this for longer than a few hours. But we could do like a long console stream. But I don't know, we'll see about that. I definitely am not into the TV for a computer monitor too too much. It's not terrible. If it was like a 42 inch, it would probably be not bad. But I'll tell you what, having like a 4K OLED 120Hz TV, the like games look stupid good. It's H it has like HDR too, and like HDR in a TV compared to like what HDR is on uh, gaming monitors, like it's, it's not even close to the same thing. HDR on gaming monitors is absolutely garbage. Having a $2,000 TV though, the, the picture quality is unreal. But I definitely want to get like a, like one of those 240 hertz, 1440p OLED monitors. But yeah, I don't know how soon we'll do that. But I think I'll set this up on like a little stand in my computer room. If I'm up pipe, will I get BMX streets? No, you will you will not. That no. It's not it's not the same game. I don't know I don't understand how that would ever work. I guess the people that ask like and a lot of people ask that question. Um, BMX streets is it's a different game, it's not an update for this. So I'm not even sure how even if even like how would that even work like buying one game get you another game for free any content ideas trips this summer what like IRL stuff um, there's been talks of like a Montreal trip between some of my buddies I would definitely bring my camera and film film some stuff but not really to be honest maybe maybe when streets comes out there, there could potentially be some opportunities that arise from that, but not really. As far as content ideas, uh, like I've been kind of teasing that there's some some exclusive stuff happening in like a couple weeks, but yeah, other than that, not really. I've been on a couple trips, and to be honest, the last thing I want to do on a trip is film videos. Like... I don't know. The Montreal All Boys are chill. Yeah, um, I don't know if we would be meeting. I don't know anybody from Montreal. Um, but uh, I would be down to rouse some Montreal guys. There's there's that one dude that my buddy Kyle has made me watch a bunch of his clips from Montreal. I don't. I can't remember his name, but he he does like crazy tech bar spin crank flip combinations. I probably recognize his name. You probably know who I'm talking about, Noah, but I can't remember his name. I think he's from Montreal or just Quebec somewhere. I've I've only just had Kyle send me like clips of this guy at the vans park there, and he's just doing crazy like oh Max, yeah yeah Max, just doing crazy like crank flip bar spin combos. But I've never been to Montreal to BMX. I've been out in Quebec a bunch to snowboard, but never to ride BMX. But it just kind of sucks. Like, listen, I, I'm i not that good. So, like, going and riding street for me, unless the street is really good, it's just not fun. Like, as I'm not, like, eyeing up big handrails, right? Like, if there's, like, cool, sick, like, rail manual pad ledge setups like i'm all down for that but the amount of times i've gone street riding even in a toronto we get to like something and it's like a 14 set with a rail or a huge ass out ledge it's like i ride skate parks man like i don't i'm not trying to get hurt right i'm not like i love bmx don't get me wrong but i don't know i'm not really trying to send it and get hurt 
I ain't about that. I've been hurt lots over the years. And your boy has toned it down a bunch. They got really good parks. Yeah, like that Vans Park looks sick. I've always wanted to go to the Taz, although I'm not that would probably be pointless going there in the summertime. But I've seen a couple of their parks, but it, it just sucks though, because like the people that that want to go want to go to Ride Street. Like I mentioned, uh, like I think it was Ryan that mentioned it, and uh, he was asking about a Montreal trip, and I said, "Yeah, like I'd really like to go there. I want to. I'd love to go ride that Vans Park and a couple other things." And they're just like, "Yeah, but like if we go, we're riding street." It's just like, eh. I just I don't. I've had lots of fun times going riding street. That have made me want to ride street. But I've also had so many times where we just go to so many spots that are just like either like is maybe good for like one rider in the group. Which is cool to see them like get their trick on the whatever, but like I don't really want to drive like six hours to like not go ride the cool skate parks and watch someone try something in the street. So like it's cool, but that's not really what I'm into anymore. Montreal Stadium is basically yeah like that park with like I mean that's that's basically a park but like that spot I've seen like there's lots of cool spots I've seen a couple schools in Montreal that have some really cool spots like lots of variety and their their street does look a lot like more uh, um better for like multiple levels of riders I guess I don't know how else to say it like a lot of the spots in Toronto it's like either like super basic or you ride some huge at least the at least the spots I've been to. Six hour trip for someone to try a rail and not even do it. Yeah, like it's it's just like I don't know. Kind of stopped riding the street too. The only like times I've ever wanted to go ride street is when I've learned something in a park. And I've just wanted to do something it, or get a clip of it in the streets, which I honestly haven't done for like, for like five or six years. I just don't really like riding street that much. It's just so much work. I love being able to show up at the skate park. I got an up ledge, down ledge, an up rail, down rail, flat bar that I know is just wax and it's going to slide perfect. And there's shade there and it's just, it's close to like food. Like it's just, it's so nice. I like doing street trips every once in a while. Or you know what I like doing? I like going to street jams. That's what I like doing. I don't really like street riding, but going to a street jam, that shit is fun. Like I've been to a bunch, or at least a handful of like the Harvester jams. And it's sick, like watching everybody like send it on stuff. And those, like I like watching people ride, but I don't know. Just street riding, just it's just, I don't know. Like the amount of times I've had people like comment on my clips or videos, whether it's at a skate park or whatever, and they're like, yo, that's sick, but we want to see you ride street. It's just like, uh, to me, I just, I don't really get it. Whether I see someone do a Smith nose bar on a flat ledge in the streets or in the skate park, it's the same thing to me. I, I, I just don't really get it. You come back every now and again to check and see here. Yeah, we're still, we've just been riding for a while, man. It's a Sunday and I got absolutely nothing going on. And it's been a while since I've done any sort of lengthy stream. And it hasn't even been long. It's, oh, actually, it's almost been four hours. Okay. Uh, it's been longer than I thought. Yo, what's going on, Jack Sparrow? When am I going to play Scooter Flow again? We're going to play that when the update comes out. I don't know when that comes out. He told me it was coming out soon, the beginning of April. But I pretty much only play the scooter games when like updates come out because I know there's a bunch of people that watch the videos And I've had a lot of scooter videos do really well So I know a lot of people have subbed for them So I always try to make videos when like an update something that you guys would want to see comes out But I'm not a scooter rider. I'm not like super into scooters um, I think I probably would be more into them if or once like scooter flow gets like actual grind inputs to where like 
you're not just hopping and landing on something and sliding like I hope it still kind of works like similar to that but I want to be able to like position my body similar to how you do in this game or even in scoot um, and and get that grind but just have it actually look like how a real scooter rider would grind but yeah I'm always just gonna be like a BMX gamer for the most part especially when streets comes out well, you guys are not gonna see me play much of anything else uh, when that game drops MC Rider, what's going on? We're doing all right. We're just we're just cruising in pipe today. We've played a handful of mob maps. We've we've just been cruising. Originally, I was gonna play like Riders Republic and stuff like that, but yeah, I don't know. I'm doing all right. It was my birthday on Thursday. Your boy got some like uh, free birthday tattoos. Uh, the hell did I do this weekend? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What game should you get? Scooter Fo I mean, uh, to be honest with you, like I said in my uh, my little review or comparison between those two games, since they're both only on early access on Steam, I would just buy both of them. Um, and any game you play less than two hours of, you can get a full refund. So what I would do is I would buy Scoot and Scooter Flow play like an hour or an hour and a half of scoot then play an hour an hour and a half of scooter flow and uh whichever one you like more you just keep and then you just return the other one that's probably what i would do i've done that a lot with games the amount of games that like a new game will come out i'll buy it they play like an hour and a half and just be like eh, not really huge on this game just return it that's kind of the beauty of uh pc gaming especially on steam like you could not I don't think you could ever buy a game on console, like hard, even like as far back as I can remember, you could never buy a game. As soon as you open that package for the game, it immediately lost like 10 or $12 worth of value. But on PC, like if you buy a game on Steam, as long as you have less than two hours, you can get a full refund. So that's probably what I've done or what I would do if I was you. Oh, wait, did I lose internet? No. No, I didn't. Would you play the new Diablo if they added a BMX in it? <laughs> the new Diablo? I've never once played a Diablo game, so no. I would not. I love how it says I'm getting like 80 to 300 FPS. Meanwhile, it feels like I'm getting about 15. Okay, we're not playing this map. This map is not running good. It's not running the smoothest. Yeah, sorry. It says I. It said chat disconnected, and I was like, "Wait, did we lose some internet?" Wait, what did you say, OG? Ottawa BMX Street's so dead in Montreal. Does one jam a year? Yeah, maybe we should wait till there's a Montreal jam. That'd be sick. Skate park plazas are simulated street spots close enough. When you get old, you'll be content with just carving bowls. Yeah, that's that's my favorite, like going to a street plaza. And that, that Vans one in Montreal, I think it's a Vans park, right? Like it looks, it looks like so much fun. I'm sure it's busy as all hell most of the time, but I wish I had some more YouTube BMX friends that could do trips and shit during the week. <laughs> I need more D-Gen friends that don't have nine to five throughout the week and can do stuff during the week when all the kids are at school. Um, playing pipe on pipe while watching potato play pipe on pipe. This is great. Yeah, we had to get out of the pipe map. We've been playing that one too much lately. Had to get street. So street. We're going to do hot flips. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're getting some heavy gamer lean here. Yeah, Swamp Fest would be super ch sick to check out. That's a that's a bit of a trip though. On oh, console, it runs around the 30 FPS. What this game? No, it doesn't. Maybe if you have a, a last gen console. Even still, I think it, the game runs 60 FPS. I I played it on PlayStation 4. I'm pretty sure I got 60 FPS. Definitely. The frames definitely dropped, that's for sure. Five forty to fakey pegs down the rail. You wanted to tell me that Ian Hawk BMX is up for a game. Oh yeah. Ian has been asking me to do a lot of uh, videos and stuff together. I, I keep telling him though. I've, I've been telling him this since the start when BMX, when BMX streets comes out and we can play multiplayer in that game. I will definitely do some stuff with Ian. I just, I've done a couple games of bikes and the problem is, is, um, it's so, it's so funny. Cause in this game I've gotten so much shit about p playing unrealistic. And then when I play riders Republic, apparently I just, I play too simple and stuff, which is so funny. Um, I just don't do like the crazy combinations like what Riders Republic is ultimately made for. Um, so like playing a game of bike in that game, like it was fun when I did it with Steep Steep because I feel like he likes to play these like that game uh, pretty realistically or try to. But yeah, I just Riders Republic is just so boring for me to like even just to play with like all those crazy tricks. It's just so boring. The only thing that's ever making that game fun for me is just more content. Like that game does extreme and silliness really good. So like, I feel like they should just be adding more extreme silliness, but I don't even think they're doing that. It seems like the skateboarding, like from all the stuff they've shared about skateboarding, I, I don't know. It's weird. Like I, I would have expected like, um, I don't know. I don't really know what to say too much about the skateboarding because I've definitely seen a lot that players haven't. Um, and like I said earlier, like Ubisoft Forward's coming out. I think we can expect some stuff about skateboarding. I just think silly and crazy is not the route they're taking, and I think that's just what Rise Republic does best. And so it just it's kind of like this weird middle ground. I feel like they kind of did that with the BMX too. Like when BMX came out, they definitely could have had some cool, crazy, silly BMX stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Benny, what's going on, dude? A long time no see you. Are you still in the States or what? Did you make it back to the homeland? You play console sometimes and you play PC. Yeah, PC is the best. I'm a total degenerate. Just come to BC. You're a landscaper, right? Do you, do you own your own landscaping business or do you work for a landscaper? You saying you're a degen makes me think you do it on your own. But I don't know. Yeah, run 60 FPS on console. You should go to Utah in the winter and snowboard. A couple places I would love to go. I, went, I would go to Banff probably um, to go back, especially with just how cheap it is to fly there, and I know people there now. Um, I would love to go to either Japan or um, California, though. California, like Utah or uh, Tahoe. All the Tahoe clips, like obviously they got dumped on for snow this past season, but my God, Tahoe just looked like an absolute blast. It'd be sick to have like a two week trip where like the first week you go to like, like San Fran or like 
for Fresno and go ride around those areas. Um, and then you, just the next week, you just go up to Tahoe and and snowboard. That'd be so sick. 30 FPS for PS4? Really? I swear I, I, I swear when I played this game on PS4, it ran better than 30 FPS. Not much better, but... At least in the pipe map. Maybe Community Center definitely probably hitting 30 FPS. God, I hate that I just have to ride like a left foot forward guy. God, the feet look so goofy in left foot forward. Odds on playing streets with viewers when it comes out? Oh, Heathen. I, that, I'm, that's one of the things I'm most excited for. Like, when Streets comes out, we will definitely, um, like, that's going to revive the streams so much. Like, the amount of content I'll be able to get uh, from streams for videos, whether that's just, like, spending, like, streams doing, like, uh, replay editor clips, getting clips for, like, videos and whatnot. Uh, like, just the multiplayer aspect, being able to do, like, uh, Games of add-ons, games of bikes, just sessioning parks with viewers. Like, it's going to be so sick. We do, like, races. and oh, It'd be cool if you could do some of the missions. We could make our own stuff up, though. I don't know. Yeah, multiplayer live streams is going to be huge for that game. It, it, like, obviously, it's limited to... I think it's, like, four people, but we'll figure it out. It's going to be fun, though. But yeah, we'll do games of bike add-on, whatever g biking games we can think of. We'll have to we'll have to create our own. Uh, if you have a kid, are you gonna call them tater tot? Uh, probably not. I wouldn't want them to get absolutely demolished in school by bullies. That could maybe be like their online username potentially. I don't know. What's the first map you recommend for someone who just got a PC? Um, if you're in the Volution Discord already, you definitely just need to go in there and go to Volution Maps and just play any of the Volution Maps. Those are the best maps. Oh, what is happening? Uh, first time joining your stream. Oh, Stern Potato. In a while, I saw you streaming, so I decided... Yo, thanks for stopping by. Thanks. We've, we've had a couple potatoes come into the chat today. This is nice. Subboarding in Japan is a dream. I don't know, just... We need to make some of these dreams come true, Ethan. And that's kind of what I've been on lately. We just need to start making some of these dreams come true. Like going out west and snowboarding is something I always wanted to do when I was younger. And the second I got the opportunity to do that, I was, yeah, it was like, my friend told me I could come stay. And I'm like, if you're serious, I will literally book a plane ticket right now. And that's what I did. Told me I could come. I was like, let me, let me look at flights right now. Um, so sad you can't get mods pipe on PS4. Yeah, yeah. Um, for uh, BMX Streets, apparently he's looking at getting mod.io integrated into BMX Streets, which would be something like uh, Descenders or uh, Skater XL. Hopefully, more like Descenders, because that way the community on console can get like the the mod maps and stuff. There's some mod maps through Skater XL, but a lot of them have to be approved and all this stuff and i feel like the descenders just has so many i've never played descenders on console though so maybe it is like as limited I, but hopefully people can just make good maps that run well on console oh my favorite thing to do in this is 180 over this 
to the fakey nose. Uh. Yeah, have a good sleep, uh, MC Rider. Mick Rider. Uh, I'll find out how to make it 100 people max. I did the same with Scoot. I mean, that would be cool. 100 BMX riders cruising down through the streets. How does that work, though? I feel like I saw Mayhem saying something about how people have modded it. I mean, I know when we were testing it, he was testing more than like the four people or whatever. And it definitely got kind of laggy. So does it get laggy when you have that many people? I mean, I don't know. It's probably not impossible to get that many people to play Scoot at once. That ice whip for predator ice was too. Oh, the, the predator ice to whip, I think I did. I did it on that other rail setup. I think I did it on this one. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice, isn't it? Uh, you said join all of your RR streams, but as you were uh, saying before, I got boring, so I stopped watching because I got literally no enjoyment out of that game anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think that's 80% of the players for Riders Republic, man. I don't blame you. I don't play it too, too much anymore. Um, it's kind of funny though. Like if I make a decent Riders Republic video, uh, AKA any video basically on a bike, it's, they still get viewed lots. Um, yeah, which is definitely a little confusing, but I just don't like people will just want to see me just like ride around and just hit huge jumps and stuff. But I don't, it's just at this point for me, it's just boring and the reason it's boring is because that game like takes absolutely zero skill to do a lot of that stuff it's just like equip an elite bike get kind of lucky in some spots like it, the game for me it feels just more luck based like there is skill based stuff you can do in that game it's just not stuff i like doing like the hole in one stuff is just i never really liked that too too much um mass races there's definitely skill skill involved with doing well in mass races oh a little downside smith on the fence <laughs> um but yeah the skill based stuff that is in that game i just don't like doing and it's just kind of at a point now where it's just boring to free roam in that game it's just nothing nothing new to ride at least for now um and yeah, the, just like without the game being like s at least a bit more difficult to play, like trick wise and like getting technical and all that s stuff. I don't know. It's just the game's just kind of boring for me. And like it's just it's it's been so long now. Like the game's coming up. I mean, at the, in October it'll have been out for two years. And like even when content comes out. I give when the BMX came out. BMX was fun for realistically, and like I'm a big BMX fan, right? BMX was realistically fun for me for like two weeks at most. And then it was kind of just like, eh, it's still Riders Republic. It's still just too easy and boring. And that's exactly what it's going to be like for the skateboards. Skateboards, uh, at least I'm thinking, are going to be, you know, fun for like a week or so. And then it's just like, yeah, it's just still Riders Republic. And now I'm on a skateboard and tricks are still not that satisfying to do unless you do like the stuff that actually takes some sort of skill which is like doing like the hole in one type stuff but i just don't like doing that it's not fun for me to do like like half a cash roll into a wall ride to like a 1440 barrel roll tail whip bar tuck through like a chairlift that's just not fun for me to do it's cool that they like people do like doing that stuff but i i just not into that long stream today it has been a while hasn't it we've been streaming for four hours maybe i think we just keep going
almost in the oversmith on that. That's why I love session so much because it takes a lot of skill. It, it's like, it's harder, but it's also just satisfying. Like I don't even necessarily think a game needs to be hard for it to be good. It just it just needs to be something satisfying. Like even skate, like skate, like the skate series was not necessarily hard, but it was just it was satisfying to play. I would say this game has that kind of element to it, where it's like. I don't think pipe is really that hard. I'll, I've been playing it for a long time, but it's, it's it's just satisfying when you pull certain tricks. And yeah, same goes for session skater XL. I'll stream out. I'll stream until BMX Streets comes out. Yeah. Uh, when is the game coming out? I don't know, man. Probably sometime this year. That's what they're saying. He just posted on Instagram the other day saying that the the physics are finally completely finished. So, I don't know what that means. That's just what he's saying. Hopefully that means it's coming out soon. Um, Mitch wants a nose manual to double bar down some ledge. I got that. I got that for you. We do it on a rail. How about that? Those manual double bar on this rail. Yeah, I have to say, like, probably, man, because it's just like he's he said so many times. Like, obviously, I this is the most I believe him at this point. But it's just like there's been a couple times where he has said, "Oh yeah, it's gonna be up by this time or this date." Oh, he's never given a date to be fair, but he has said a couple times, like, you know should see it later this year or by the end of this time like uh, but yeah every single time we never see it so just trying to be realistic we'll probably see it this year we'll probably see it by the end of this year but yeah it's still like a who knows Right, like he's already posted more this year than he has ever has on social media. Right, and the game has, you know, seemingly looked like it's coming out this year. So, yeah, I'm sure we'll see it. But I, I just think it's going to be like very much like a end of the year thing. That's the thing with like releases and stuff. Like, if he's smart, he's not gonna release like a release date until it's like like a week or two out, right? Like, pull like an Apple. Like that's what Apple does. Apple, Apple shows what the next iPhone is gonna be, and then two weeks later you have that product in your hand. He can't really be putting out a release date like, yeah, it's coming out in a month or two months from now, because a lot of people will remember and have been waiting for a long time but there's like a good portion of people that will be seeing it for the first time from whatever the release trailer or whatever and they'll think about it and then they'll just forget so like i'm assuming realistically we'll see a release date and the game will be out like two months or sorry like two weeks later But if you guys are sub to the channel, I, I will make sure you don't forget. <laughs> um, I think later this year, have I tried the TrueScape mods? I've never played TrueScape. I've never really liked it, to be honest. Played it on the phone. Um, I think I did try it. Um, on PC, maybe? I can't remember. RR button mash for cool tricks. Uh, yes and no, I guess. How do I downgrade to pipe 
Not yeah. So basically just search how to mod pipe on YouTube. How to mod pipe. How to mod pipe BMX. How to mod pipe by BMX Streets. Any of those will do. And there'll be a video that says how to mod pipe 1.99. And you just watch that video, follow along, and Bob's your uncle. You have modded pipe. Let's go. Proud of you. I know you can do it. It's how we all get it. You should play more Scoot also. I tried Scooter Flow and honestly, I think I like Scoot more. I mean, I definitely like Scoot more, at least for the time being. There's just more stuff you can do in Scoot. I would say riding transition and I would say riding in general, even though it is pretty basic in Scooter Flow, has a more satisfying feel. You're, you're in complete control of everything that's happening. Whereas in Scoot, it's, there's a lot more that the game is doing for you, which I personally don't like. Um, but that's inevitably going to have to happen to Scooter Flow. It just whether or not they can make that feel um, like you're still really in control will, will be interesting. Um, but yeah, I think after Scooter Flow gets a bunch more updates, uh, it's going to be really good. But yeah, have a multiplayer in Scoot Sick. It has a replay editor. Yeah, you can nose manual, which is wild. That that's something that Scooter Flow still doesn't have. But I think a big problem that... Or I think, yeah, I think Scooter Flow's biggest problem is since they got all that brand integration, I think there's like stuff that gets delayed because of that. At least they've they've said that on their Discord before. I don't know if that's like for everything, but I know that uh, they had an update that was like delayed by like I want to say like a couple of weeks to a month, and a big part of that was because they were waiting on like confirmation from one or two of the brands that was in game to whether they could they could even just like approve their update, which is just wild. I think the better idea is. And I think what hopefully Mayhem is, is trying to do is get the gameplay all worked out and polished and stuff. And then if there's brands that want to get involved, then they get involved. But getting brands involved before you can do core fundamentals in the game, like, like a nose manual, uh, is just crazy. It's probably how he gets, I'm assuming. Actually, I don't know how that would work. Like, does he pay the brands to be in the game? Or do the brands pay him? Or do they just mutually work out that it's just beneficial for both of them? So they just make some sort of agreement that neither of them pays each other. I'd be interested to know how that actually works out. What's your opinion on the Half Cab University map on Pipe? Um, I don't know. We have it. We could go there. I forget what that one's like, to be honest. Um, mm, 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 mm. when you played BMX Streets, how fun was it out of 10? I haven't played it yet. You guys will know. Because if I'm playing it, it's because I'm going to be able to make a video on it. That's the only... I don't care about really playing it super early without you guys being able to see it, to be honest. Oh, this map, this, this map's sick. Yeah, we've been here plenty of times before. Yeah, I haven't played the uh, streets so. though. I, I wouldn't even like. I was a tester for it, and there was a bunch of testers, but a lot of them, if not all of them, haven't played the game in a very long time. Like it wasn't even close to what it is now. But yeah, I have no interest in playing the game. Unless I can play it for you guys, really, to be honest. You know how frustrating that would be? To constantly get asked like I already do about that game? And at least for now, it's just like, I haven't played it, so it's like... I mean, 
th there's for sure some things that I know that are not to be shared, but as far as like seeing and playing the game, I've, I haven't done anything like that. But it would be so hard for me to keep my mouth shut if I had. I definitely wouldn't say anything, but it would just suck. It would suck to know all that stuff and not be able to share it with you guys. Um, so yeah, I just wouldn't even be interested in playing it unless I could share it. The knowing mash, like he'll probably, he, I'm sure he'll let me have my hands on it maybe a couple days before it's out. It'd be sick to get it like a week before it comes out to make like an actually like good video for when it drops. I think that's what you should do. He should give the game to creators like a week before it drops. Tell them they can't post videos until the day of release. I, I hate when people like, and I've done it a couple times and it's so annoying making videos and stuff that's just not out yet. I think he should just uh, give a bunch of creators the game a week before it comes out and then the day of release. Um, let everyone post it or whatever. Um, trust me, Potato, I've been subbed for a while now. It's engraved into my mind. Uh, how do you stream on PC? Um, I'll show you. Here's my PC. I use this program right here called OBS. This allows me to stream to you. All right, we can have different scenes here. Oh, you can see like these are all sources. Right, so display capture is for this guy. And yeah, basically you put in like your YouTube or Twitch information. There's a little start streaming button right here. And you just press that. And then you're just streaming. That's all there is to it. Um, Juice Crate sucks in your opinion? <laughs> Remember Pipe announcement? It was legit like, boom, here you go. It's out. Yeah. And th that's honestly how it should be. It should be like, this game comes out in a week or two weeks. And then that gives like a week or two for everybody that would be interested in that to see it. There's going to be so many players that have just been waiting for this game. Um, And then, yeah, just it's out. Like I said, they got to do it like Apple. There's a lot, like so many people, like I think it was in a, Mar yeah, it was in a video I saw the other day for Marquez. And he said like, it was about a Sony phone or something. And he said like one of their biggest problems is, is they announce the release date and the release date is like months away. So by the time the phone actually comes out, anybody that was excited about it um, has found something else to do with their time or money or whatever. And I mean... BMX Streets is in a, a bit of a different category just because there's not really any competition with it. Its biggest competition is itself which, with, with Pipe. Um, Riders Republic isn't really a competitor for BMX Streets. Like, sure, you can BMX in Riders Republic, but it's not a BMX game, right? Just like how Riders Republic won't be competition for the new skate game, or even any of the skateboarding games, and it's not trying, and that game's not trying to compete with them either. Um, there's no individual BMX titles though. Like there's this one, which is like what everybody's playing, waiting for streets. But other than that, there's 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 no competition for his game. So it doesn't really matter. And I think that like that's another big reason why we've waited so long. It's because he just wants to make it perfect. And he's not on any sort of like timeline where, you know, it should be out before this game or I don't want this game to come out and take all my players, you know?
Opinion on Half Cab University. Yeah, this one's doing pretty good. I'm liking it. I've played this map a couple times. Hello, what's going on? Bray. What up? Can you do a gnarly trick to make you poop yourself? Um, no. Gnarly trick? How about a, a hot backflip? That I can definitely do. First try. First try, right here. I haven't tried yet, by the way. First try? Yeah, there's a gnarly trick you can do sometimes. You do a backflip on flat. First try, there we go. Yeah, we're on a street map. I'm not sure there's anything too, too insane I could do. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's in a league of its own. It is. But like I said, like primarily because there's literally no one else making BMX games. Like, I wonder, I it, it truly, like, obviously people have been asking for this, uh, like, a Skate 4 or whatever for the longest time, but I truly wonder how much of a reason Skate 4 is coming out because of games like Skater XL and Session. It's definitely a factor. I don't think it's, like, the reason that game's out or anything, but it's definitely a factor, right? Because people were still playing Skate 3 because that was the best skateboarding game at the time. And then these other games came out, and no one's really buying or playing Skate 3 anymore. Or at least less. Man, it's a cool spot right here. Can you do an... Oh, yeah, I already read that. He asked them, and they say yes or no. No money involved. That's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. I feel like if... Uh, at least BMX Street-wise, I don't think there's any brands in it. But I'm telling you right now, if I was MASH and a BMX brands wanted to work together, they are 100% paying me to be in my game. Because <laughs> BMX Streets... At this, like BMX Streets will be bigger than BMX itself. Like, the amount of people that don't ride BMX that will be playing uh, BMX Streets or that get into BMX because of BMX Streets is going to be crazy. He even piped to that. Like, the amount of messages I've received that said, from watching me play pipe, it has made them get into actual BMX is insane. And there's, um, I'd have to imagine there's a lot of players uh, that played this game that don't have any clue who I am that did the same thing. Yeah, BMX Streets is for sure bigger than the BMX itself. You've been inside Half Crab Unit? No, can you go inside this place? I didn't know you could go in. Where do I go in? Up here? I see stairs inside. Sick. No cameras allowed, I guess. Oh, I've been in here, yeah. Eh, yeah. I've been in here before. Looks interesting. Opinion on the streets too, map? It's, it's good. All the Skater XL maps are sick. John Olive makes some of the best ones. What are these 92 cow banners about? Corey Walsh lines? Man, I cannot play the game that good on ramps. 
Moto whip some airs? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot make the game look that good, unfortunately. I've been practicing my beans 360s, but that's about it. I don't even think I can do that that good here. Yeah, no, that's just a flip. Let's see if I can get a beans three. Super dip three is so hard though. Yeah, spinning opposite, I'm not good at. Yeah. So bad. Shaking Big P. What's going on, Silent Fox? Hope you're doing well. Shit, I fell off the quad again. Is that an Aussie reference? What's up, family? Hope you're having a great day. You should do a Dave Mira 2 stream for a throwback Thursday. That's a great idea. I've actually been meaning to uh, um, do a Dave Mira video. I've been meaning to play Dave Mira 3 on the Game Boy Advance, which, you know, was the first BMX game I ever played. Um, but, yeah, I've been meaning to do that. I've, I've always meant to go back to the, the Matt Hoffman games. That's a game that I really haven't played much on the channel. I think I played it once. And I've definitely played, like, BMX, Triple X, Dave Mira a couple times on the channel. I didn't realize you had... Two tabs open. Still at it. <laughs> yes. What do you mean? This is normally how long I stream for. I'm a daily I'm a daily eight hour streamer. We're only halfway. Uh, do I think BMX Streets will get updated regularly after release? Um I guess that I, I <laughs> I would say the short answer is no. He's kind of hinted at in his Discord that like once the game... Oh, wait, you can go through the windows. It, it's so dark, I just thought there was windows there. Oh, okay, that was interesting. Um, he's he's kind of hinted in his Discord that like once the game's out, uh, he will definitely be taking a break from the game. And he's also said about like just working on a different game, like a BMX Streets 2 or whatever he's going to end up making. So yeah, I'd, regular updates, I'm sure there'll be like bug fixes and stuff for like a while. But like content updates and new stuff, like I think he's going to try to get the mod.io integration and I'm sure like the community will have to take care of the rest. Um, but I don't know. It's hard to say, right? The game is not even out yet. We don't even have a release date. We really don't have any idea what the plan for the game is at all. So I don't know. I want to hope that the game gets updated and looked after for, I mean, I would love like a year or two, especially for like how long, like a good majority of the players for this game have been waiting. It would be sick to get like a year or two of support, but I mean, I don't know. Hard to say. I hope. Let me just say, I hope so, but I'm not. I'm not getting my hopes up for that to happen. Uh, did you see your comment on the last video about Jordan music for your videos? No, I didn't. I did not. When doing special manuals, how do you stop your player's feet from getting stuck? Let's go, old P. Feet from getting stuck. I don't know what you mean. Oh, he was a longtime pro rider for McNeil. Oh, that's sick. Yo, McNeil follows me on Instagram. I'm trying to get the McNeil hookup, dude. I'm 
I'm pretty sure they're literally the only Canadian brand that exists at the moment. The problem is, is I think a lot of their stuff is like, I don't want to say their geo is like outdated, but it's low key outdated. But also, I don't really know. <laughs> but one of my favorite friends is McNeil Barato V2, which we were talking about earlier. Uh, but I think they have like a parliament frame. I think I just remember like being interested in looking or riding one of their frames just because it's a Canadian brand. I think it's still Canadian. Canadian brand made in Taiwan. Well, you know what I mean. Don't be like that, OG. Don't be like that. Hey. That's basically almost every BMX company ever. And at this point... The Taiwanese workers definitely have more experience with welding those frames than uh, than the American companies. So I'll take the Taiwanese work. I'm a big fan of it, actually. Um, can't wait for the release. Yeah, BMX Streets is going to be insane. Yo, Stern, thanks for stopping by, man. Have a good one. BMX Streets is a new game coming out. Pipe is an early access build that was made to fund... Yeah, pretty much. And it also came out in 2017, so... There's a number of years of work that's been done to BMX Streets, so it's it's going to be a lot different. At least that's what he's claiming. It looks like it's going to be quite a bit different. Yeah, lip slides and streets. Yeah, if there's one thing I would love to have in streets, it's just like more bike control. And it looks like that's going to be the case. Like I want to be able to do like like those tire presses and stuff. Like you can kind of do them in pipe, but it doesn't feel like you're actually like pressed in there, right? It just kind of feels like you've come to a stop. Um, but it would be sick to do like the back tire ones and stuff like that. God. I think my favorite one is when you you want to do like that. That, one, that one's really hard. I've tried to get that in real life. But yeah, how sick would it be if like you could just come and like do like little tire slides on ledges and quarter pipes and stuff like that? Yeah, it's just not really possible to do anything like that. Doing like a back tire one is... <laughs> It's possible. I've seen it done. It's just, it's hard. Steep steer tubes for street. Lack steer tubes for trails. How do you feel about the camera in the leaked clip of BMX Street? Seems a lot more towards... Riders Republic, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I don't know what you mean by more Riders Republic. I mean, it's definitely better than this. I would say the camera maybe seems a bit more dynamic than this camera. Like, it's hard to get the camera anywhere from behind you. I, I don't really know. Uh, even s and and Fit have stuff made overseas. I just prefer American-made parts when I can. I run s and bars and stem and profile. What's the reasoning behind that, though? Like, like, have you just, like, rode American-made stuff and, like, it just lasts longer? Or, like, you just rather support American company? Like, that that I get. Um, that's really the only th thing I can think of. 
It's like you want to support like an American made company or something. But it's just like, <laughs> there's no Canadian parts being made in Canada. In fact, there's literally like one can Canadian brand, which is McNeil. And it's just like, yeah, they're, they're obviously going to not make their stuff in Canada. I'm pretty sure if they made their stuff in Canada, no one would buy it, to be honest. <laughs> Be like ah, Canadian made uh, Canada's not really known for manufacturing too much so I think I'm gonna pass and get the Taiwanese stuff yeah I don't really know what you mean about the camera Dude, I'm so, like, why do the pivots keep breaking? The quality is so much better. For instance, the knurling on handlebars is so much better. And the same with hub bearings. They just never blow out. Really? But hear me out. If if that is the case, right? Like if the quality is that much better, why aren't more companies doing it? Like why wouldn't they just get everything else made out there for the masses and the like? It's I'm assuming it's just the cheapest pl place to get it. Um, why wouldn't they do that and then just for like hardware, like bearings and stuff? Um. Why wouldn't they just put like the American made bearings into the parts that they get made in uh, Taiwan? If it was like that much better. Like, and handlebar gnar gnarling or knurling, that's just such a random thing like i don't know i can't say like i know for a fact i've never had an american made part and i can tell you right now i've also never had a problem with handlebar slipping even the bolts in the stem are so much better they could do what you're saying but i guess is shipping cost uh, right, but it's like when you order a bike from Fit, let's say, it doesn't come from, or, or let's say a bike company that's not uh, one that does American-made stuff. Like, let's say I order a bike from Kink, right? The bike isn't coming from Taiwan. The bikes are made in Taiwan, and then they get shipped out to a warehouse wherever they get built, right? And then they go to a distributor, do they not? So why not when they're getting built in the warehouse, like if it's a complete bike or whatever, a complete wheel, a hub, whatever it is, why don't they just put those parts in there? When is Old P getting a shout out on our BMX podcast? Probably never. Maybe when Streets comes out and like there's, there's like me making videos on it that rides BMX. So I feel like any other channel that makes videos on it, like either just doesn't ride BMX or whatever. Maybe then? I don't know. It would have to be maybe if we got something exclusive. But hearing Dennis Anderson say the old potato would be absolutely hilarious. Uh... Can you 180 up that huge ball thing and fakey flare off? Where's the big ball? I, I mean, I know I was just on it. I don't know if we can, but I will try for you, Fox. Where was that? I'm going to have to go around the whole map to find it. Um, You should see the difference in S&M bar compared to, say, Odyssey. 
Right, I'm not saying there isn't a difference, but all I'm saying is, is like that to me is like the, <laughs> I, I don't know. That's just like, a, oh, uh oh, oh, I can't see. To me, that's like a silly thing you could point out. If like, I, I like if you're like, oh, I, I've had three, like three or four handlebars. The American made, the American made ones lasted me four years where the other ones only lasted me two years like then then it's like okay yeah like you got two more years out of them like obviously that's that's better but when you're saying like the handlebar gnarling knurling which is something that is on the handlebar to help the handlebar slip and i've been riding bikes f for like a decade and never had an american-made part and never really had a problem with the knurling it's just like it's just like sh i'm sure it's better but like i've never needed that to be better if, if that makes sense, I like got difference is your bar slipping or breaking. You're th yeah, but that's what I'm saying, dude. Is like I've never had that be a problem for me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, like I, I 100% believe you that that's better. But I'm just saying that doesn't that doesn't necessarily matter to me because I've never had a problem with it. I guess. And especially like if I don't know if you like if you have mountain bikes or into mountain bikes, but after working at a bike shop and seeing uh, like downhill bikes or mountain bikes with no knurling on either the stem or bar, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously it's a, a little bit different with the shape of a BMX handlebar, just because there's a lot more, I guess, leverage to actually slip it or rotate it than a mountain bike one, but. Still, yeah, I don't know. I've ne I've literally never had that be a problem for me. I just need a different example as to uh, like what's better. Like the bearing one made sense. That's sick. But the bearing thing is also something I've never really ran into. I, what I need is an American-made free coaster, because the, the only parts that I've gone through a lot that has been super annoying is free coasters, and it's never been a bearing. So it's just been like the clutch drive system itself is just like worn out to nothing. Give me an American made free coaster. I'm sick and tired of those things breaking. Uh, pretty sure companies get due to the low cost. Yeah, like I know why they get the made out there. It's low cost. It's low cost. There's big, big, uh, you can get a lot of volume done out there too, right? Like to pay someone to weld frames in America or Canada or wherever it is, right? It's, it's, it's just going to cost a lot more. I'm, I'm sure to get the materials itself is is more expensive to pay someone to do it's more expensive and I think I think to be honest that's the main reason why you see a big difference in quality it has absolutely nothing to do with it being made in America I think it's just because the actual quantity of parts is way less so there's just way less room for error that would that would be my my guess right there's less parts to make, so they can spend more time on each parts, which is obviously going to turn out uh, for better stuff. 180 foot jam, 180 out? I mean, that was really bad, but we did it. Clutch V2 is holding up well. I See, I know I have friends that have that hub in it. They don't like it. Love OP, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, process. What frame do I ride right now? I ride a uh, We the People Doomsayer. 
chrome bars or black bars? Black for sure. I mean, I guess it depends on the setup. I I rode a pair of chrome bars for a while, but I just got really, really bored of looking at chrome bars after a while. Just prefer black handle bars, probably. I'm not saying other parts are bad. That's just my reasoning behind running American Made. No, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, the torque you can use on carbon bars is insanely low. No, I know. That's I kind of like as I said it in my head. That's why I was like, yeah, I guess the leverage on a mountain bike handle bar is way, um, way different just because due to the shape of the handle bar. But yeah, uh, new planetary coasters seem pretty good. The old ones. All had the KG internal and the coaster. Oh, really? I mean, my friend Rob has that hub. He has the BSD one, the revolutionary hub or whatever that uses like all the same parts. Um, I would say he's had enough problems with it for the price of the hub that would make me never buy the hub. I don't know if they have like a second version of it out by now, but especially in Canada, uh, anytime he's ever rode it in the cold, it makes like weird clicking noises and it just behaves super strange. Um, for like crank flips and stuff, his, it's been kind of hit or miss for him, I feel like. And I, to be honest, I hate that there's no pedal pressure at all when you're going backwards. Like when I do a five cab with a coaster, I do like a little pivot to like, like a little 180. Uh, actually, how I do five cabs is exactly how I do it in this game, right? Oh, shit, I have to do it this way. Like, I do a 180, and then I pivot here and then do the three. I don't get a full three like that. I'm not that talented. Um, so, like, I like doing this, pedal pressure, and then three. I've done that before where you don't do pedal pressure, but I just like pedal pressure. That's just how I learned. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of that hub. I've tried it. My buddy has it. Uh, I just, I really don't like it. One eighty bike flip, dude. What is this rail setup over here? This looks crazy. Oh my god! One of these, one of these days, your boy's gonna have to get off. Getting kind of hungry. Quick PC question. What do you need to upgrade the space on your PC? Um, I'm assuming you're referring to like storage. Uh, so you would need to get a new hard drive or an SSD. Oh, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, you need an SSD or a hard drive. Nice. Nice. Uh, I've had Shadow Coaster for years with zero issues. Only maintenance it once a year, too. Yeah, I've had... I've had a KG, like an old one. I've had a Federal, a Demolition... Another federal. I went back to the federal because that one lasted me the longest. And I want to say that's it. I've never had like a super nice free coaster. I have friends that have the Odyssey clutch or whatever. And it's it seems pretty hit or miss. My buddy just got a We The People one though. It's like one that you can like swap between uh, free coaster and cassette I think. I've heard the cinema one is not bad. Oh, yeah, that is actually, wait, that is the other one I've had is a cinema free coaster. That was when cinema was pretty new. And that, <laughs> the cinema free coaster I had, actually, I will never buy one again just because the first cinema free coaster I had, it broke within two months. Sick, yeah, we're not, we're not doing that at all. Check it out. Oh, it worked. Okay, I'm trash.
Marsman a Bubica on the pump. We don't have our brakes installed today, McNeil boy. We don't have the brakes installed. Need to try that new BSD free cuz yeah, my friend has it. I I've tried it. I don't really like it, but it seems pretty cool. Same bars, stocks, or same nautic tool. I think you'd be surprised, uh, Silent Fox. Like when I worked at a bike shop, um, I mean, it's the same for BMX because BMX is way smaller, but even in mountain biking's like to, to learn like that pretty much all the mountain biking stuff. And this was pretty much just between like a uh, giant Trek specialized and stuff like a lot of the mountain bike stuff all came out of the same factories. And the same thing is said for BMX. Like I want to say like probably like 70 to 80% of BMX stuff all comes out of the same factory. At least it used to. And BMX has only gotten smaller over the years, so I, I'd be surprised if that wasn't the case. But a lot of it is made in the same factory. I can't remember what it was. It was one of the mountain bike companies, but I I, I want to say it was Trek. Trek's bu Trek bikes were actually made by the same manufacturer that was making giant bikes. So it's just like you have two like the biggest uh, brand bike names and they're essentially the same bikes like they might have different uh some like different geo and stuff like that but when it comes to materials and like who's welding them it's the same people like there's and especially in bmx like bmx isn't big enough for there to be multiple factories and, and like there's not enough money in bmx for every single company to have different people working on it. like it's it's a lot of the same people Your friend had SNM bars. He threw his bike once while bailing and they bent 90 degrees. <laughs> you don't know what bearings they use in profile minis? Yeah, I don't know. To be honest, I've never had a single bearing issue with uh, a wheel in the past, like, six years. And any issue I have had with a bearing has just been due to something I've messed up. Like the amount, I don't know how many of you guys have done this, but if you ride, I don't know if it's because if it has anything to do with riding four pegs, but I don't know if you guys have ever had where you get like a flat tire and you change your tube. And then when you go to tighten your wheel back on it, uh, like your axle will get stuck and it'll like loosen off your cone nuts. And then you'll go to ride and then you'll be like, oh, my back wheel feels loose. And you've been riding with like a loose cone nut and you absolutely just mangle your bearing. That happened to me many of times. I've gotten pretty good at checking it. <laughs> checking it. Or like uh, I'll take my pegs fully off and I'll I'll tighten each side one at a time. And I'll, I'll put an alley key in the axle to make sure that my cone nuts aren't going to come loose. Loose. I seem like one of those uh, pressure ones where you don't even have to tighten on the cones. I mean, that's how my front hub works. Yeah, Odyssey on top. I I love. I've I've ran an Odyssey front hub for a very long time. Like, I've had a Vandero for God, I don't know, five years or something. And it's been perfect. I've never, I've never ran an Odyssey rear wheel, but I just know from people that have them, they're good except for, I've seen people have issues with like when it comes to like crank flips and stuff. Something about lighting with this game just messes you up. Yeah, dude, the, the graphics in general for pipe, at least at this point now, is just, it's, it's hot garbage, bro. And some maps do it good, better than others uh like what's a map that looks pretty good if this one would load this one looks pretty good oh well let's do oscar's house night that's a great map
This one's nice on the eyes. Yeah, a lot of the lighting for, for bite maps, especially mod maps, just looks fucking terrible. Is this game on console as well? Yeah. <laughs> With only five maps. Uh, it really has like three maps on console. There's technically four, but one of them is just you'll never play in there. So there's really just three maps. But if you haven't gotten pipe on console or played pipe yet, I honestly would wait uh, because the developer of this game has uh, like an actual BMX game coming out in a, hopefully a couple more months, sometime this year anyways. Oh God, that was, what am I doing? Let's try that again. Oh, but yeah, he's got a way better BMX game coming out. Last wheels I built were to perk. I had G Sport hubs too. Did I? I don't think I ever had the real rear one. I had the the G G Sport uh, front wheel. That one was really good. I ended up selling it though. Never really had a, a single problem with a front hub ever. Besides, uh, before I got like female axle, uh, I used to like bend male axles. No. Yeah, they make really good rims. I can't even remember what those hubs were called. There's a ratchet and I don't think Rollaway was the one I had. I feel like it was like Marma or something. It started with like an M, I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. Am I filming more this summer? Yeah, well, I mean, we'll get some like BMX vlogs, videos, or whatever. The problem is for me, especially like living in Canada, where I only get to ride for like half of spring, summer, and half of fall. Um, is I don't really feel comfortable or confident on my bike until about midsummer, so that's you. We won't really see much footage of me riding uh, until then. If you if you follow me on Instagram, like I got anytime I go to the skate park, I usually get a clip and post it on my story. But yeah, yeah, Marmoset Hub. Yeah, that's what it was. That one was pretty good. It was really goofy looking. It was like super fat for a front hub. Can you peg the top of that vert wall? Can I peg it? Mm, let me see if I can peg that. I mean, it's definitely possible. Definitely possible. Oh my god. I wanted to see if I could flare drop in from up there. Or like a flip drop. Uh, use fold alienation wheels. You ran a taco truck. Uh, you didn't know I was Canadian, and you're so stoked to finally get out riding this year. Go for like a week, broke both bones in your legs. Now you're off. Oh no, that is not good. That is not what you want. Yeah, it's it's tough, especially like, cause at the fall. In the fall, like that's when you feel like the most comfortable on your bike before it gets like too cold out. And then when you come back into it, like you feel like you should be able to be like where you were in the fall, but you just can't once you've taken that much time off from riding. Ooh, flare transfer to the rail? 
And if you're lucky, you can like ride indoor parks and stuff. Like the closest one for me is Joride, but it's like two hours away. And yeah, it's it's kind of expensive to go there more than like a couple times a month. But I don't really like going to Joride too, too much. I feel like I'm going too fast for this. Triple whip flare fly out the spine. <laughs> almost almost first try oh my god we might actually land a flat but okay I, I would love to do it not to flat there we go <laughs> What's this map called? It's called Oscar's House Night. Oscar's House Night. Oh my God, what is happening? How hard is it to mod pipe? Had it for ages and never really got into it. Center, it's. Uh, it's, I would say it's hard compared to how you mod some of these other other games. It isn't really that difficult though. Not really. You just follow a tutorial, 20, 30 minutes, it's modded, you're set up, you're fine. Like some games you can download a mod map, you just drag it into a documents folder and you're done. That's not really happening in this game. You gotta downgrade it. It's it's a process. It's it's not that hard. You follow a tutorial, uh, either a document or a video on YouTube. It's it's not that bad. Hello, where's my foot jams at? Flip whip. Oh, interesting. Definitely going for that. Oh my god. Is it worth having pipe on console? At this point, Calvin, no. I would not get it. At this point, just wait. BMX Streets will come out uh, on console sometime this year. You'll be, you'll have much more fun on that. Uh, what is happening? I, I know I put my pedal speed up, but Jesus. Okay, we hit the quick foot jam. Foot is still in the wheel. It's all right. Jesus. What's the highest your pedal speed will go? It goes pretty high. Uh, we're sitting at a 10 right now, and it'll go all the way up. To 50. I don't know if we have enough room in here to really show you what 50 does, but that's like not even close to how fast we can go. Maybe we can go outside of the map over here. Yes, we can. Look at that. Yeah, you can pedal pretty quick. Like, look at how fast we're going. <laughs> Just drifting. See if we can do a, a 180. Yeah, no. Uh, you know what we could do, though, is we could... We're somewhere we could pedal and hit, like, a huge jump. could go back here we could go to streets too maybe 
Streets 2, right up the street, jump out just straight up out of the street. Should play Overpass. Is that something I have? Oh, Overpass right there. Yeah, we could go there. You're cooking. Should challenge myself and ride some dirt jumps. I don't, to be honest, I don't even think I have dirt jump maps. Such a good feeling. Door rides two hours from me as well. Worst part is, is I broke it. Simple half cab down a stair, stuck in bed with a rod and plate in your leg. Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear about that. That is not good. You don't want that. Should pay homage to Ryan Williams and try 900 flair. I mean, if the game would ever load, I'm pretty sure it's going to crash here. Yeah. Wait. See if it loads. We could try that. I've definitely done a 900 flare. I don't do them regularly, though. I mean, with this speed, though, man. Come on. I've been live for five hours. I have been. Still alive. I'm quite hungry. But it's not, it's not too bad. Ayo, hey, thanks for sticking around, Silent. Have a good one. Thank you. Yeah, something tells me the game is not going to unfreeze. Oh! And it crashed. Okay. Well, it's riding in for you. I thought about going tonight, but it's just too late now. I don't really feel like going. friend just sends me a picture of his free coaster <laughs> you've been in here for three hours big crisp what is going on dude what are you doing in here three hours the mad lad is still <laughs> yeah we're still streaming <laughs> still streaming pipe somehow i don't think i could do this on any other game we've played on the channel maybe shredders but i don't know We should just go really fast and hit the quarter, maybe. Or we could jump out of that guy over there. Let's uh, let's get down from here. Oh my god! Been studying and watching. It's a blast, yo. That's sick. Uh, physics. Max Spood. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of speed. We should do it on the other side since we actually have a quarter pipe. Huge bump jumps. Still, yes, it's like half the chats are, man, this guy's still going. I think, like, I don't know how many other people you watch stream, but as far as streamers go, I actually stream quite short for most. I was going to say, no way that works out good. No way. Um, yeah, I feel like most people that do streaming and YouTube and all that stuff, when they do stream, they stream for, like, a long-ass time. Like, I only ever stream for like an hour most of the time. Oh, that is a step up I didn't know I needed to hit. A buck an hour, I appreciate the Yo, thanks you. Making it worth it. <laughs> How have I never tried to ride like this? Uh, 
That's kind of crazy. But yo, thanks, Ginge. Gingivitis. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. You're too kind. Oh my god, too much impact. You gotta try and land to that bank into the half fight. What, like this? Like into this bank, you're saying? Or the bank at the end of the half pipe? Like that one. <laughs> that would be kind of crazy. Let's see if we can hit it. I want to see if we can get a nice transfer, but. God, we're just going so high. Oh, right over. Hmm. I guess this this stream is kind of low key like a lo-fi girl uh, stream. Do it in first person. Good comms, good comms. I like that. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, I went too too far to the side. Speed glitch just joined. Uh, not a glitch. We just uh, we changed the stats of my uh, pedal force, so when I pedal, I just go dumb fast. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, that's gonna be really hard to line up. Hi, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Yeah, this looks wild. It's really hard to to line up with the half pipe, but oh, we're going straight to the center. It does look pretty insane in first person. I can't lie. Let's do hybrid mode so we can see a little bit more. Oh God! You, you get to a certain speed and you just you can't really steer. You just start drifting. Oh my God! It's a big 360. Oh, you know what we should do, actually? Is we should go into first person. Wait, I was just in it. Why did I change it? And then we open this up. We go to our camera. And we go to fave. And then we do this. Give us a little bit more POV. Or field of view, sorry. I don't know why I said POV. There, now we can see a lot more in first person. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that would be crazy if we land that. This is so dumb. It's kind of fun though. Jeez. Oh, we get it a huge flare. Oh my god. Let's go a little bit slower. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's get a little line here. Nice. Quick line. That in for the biggest flare ever. Oh, my God. We didn't even flare. God, that's a really weird... Oh, 900 flare? Yeah, we could definitely do that. We definitely had a 900 flare here. Okay, we, we spun a little too much. We had to bring it back. Luckily, you can do that in this game. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> See if I could just do like a normal looking 900 flare. I mean, it's, it's still going to be huge, but. I think that's it, right? That's a 900 flare. Flip off the box jump to pegs.
This is hard because I have so much speed here. Okay, we almost flipped into the <laughs> fight. I don't know how you run this with these with these control and are still good at Riders Republic. I can't get used to Riders Republic. Turn the bunny halfway out. Um, yeah, Riders Republic controls are a little strange. I can't lie. They're definitely not fun to use, but... I don't know. I just... I've, I've played so many of these games at this point that it's just... I don't know. I guess I'm just used to it, I guess. I would love to actually do that, but I don't think that's happening. What are you doing, little dory? to the bank on the left side. That's a good idea. I was thinking about that one earlier. I just, I don't think I'll be able to take the impact. Oh, wait. Yeah, we could. Uh, maybe. I just can't air that far to the side. It's going to happen. The first attempt was close. Oh, the, uh, the flip up to grind. I've definitely done that before without a speed glitch. Yeah. I just need to be more to the side. We could definitely do that one. I just need to chill on the speed here. I only need like this much speed. Even that's a bit much. There it is. Nice. Yeah, quarter from the... This one's kind of crazy. Yikes. We got skill. We got a little bit of skill. There's some skill. Some skill involved. Nice. Switch three decade? How do I decade? Switch three decade. What am I doing? Come on, man. Oh, that was a five forty decade. You just want me to make a really goofy looking switch whip? Have a controller cam? No, I don't. I did not have a controller cam. Although I should for these five and a half hour streams. Uh, uh, I couldn't I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I streamed for this long. I know I did a I did a long one when BMX came out for Riders Republic, but I, even that was like three or four hours at most. 
you think you could do this IRL? Because I cannot... Uh, I can do some things IRL. I, I do ride BMX. Right? Like, I could hop three into a bank. Right? I could do a pegs and, like, spin out of it. I could do hang fives and stuff. Crank flips. But, yeah. I definitely can't do any of the stuff really that I've been doing that's for sure but to be on to be fair a lot of people can't do this shit go as high as possible in the half pipe I mean I can't really get a lot of pedal speed in there so I mean this is the highest I'm ever gonna get on a quarter pipe I could like do this. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Three sixty crook on the down rail. What's crooked on the side? It's this, right? Yeah. Okay, I could try that. 360 to Crooked. Let's go. But, yeah. It's been five and a half hours. It's been a while. Oh, I would have uh, if I wasn't streaming. I'm probably going to get out soon, though. Maybe at exactly five and a half. fed them. What's going on, Kool-Aid man? Oh, yeah? <laughs> to the moon air. 360 grinds are hard. Yeah, it's... It's difficult, for sure. And this game is not too bad with the manual pop. In 2.0, it's a lot harder. But in uh, the 1.99 that we're riding, um, it's not that bad if you do manual pops. Without manual pops? No, there's, there's no way I could do that without the manual pop. Not on this rail anyways. Or maybe? I don't know. I like manual pawn just because it's the most consistent. Like, I'm sure I could get it like that. But it's just not going to be anywhere near as consistent. And we almost got it there. But, like, I don't think I could... I'm not sure if I could, uh, I'm trying to get like a 360 overcrook. Uh, you can see it, it, it like brings me back to 180 or I go over the 180 and it doesn't want to put me on the rail. I just don't know what side it's going to put me on. Uh, I, I can kind of tell. I'm just not good enough to quickly get my finger to the position for the crooked. Yeah, like it just, it's just not consistent to do this way. Like it'll just pull me into the 180 or, or it just doesn't pull me into anything. Like technically I've done like 540 to grinds just by like accident, but like I could just do this and hit it every time. <laughs> I don't know. If I was going to a double peg, I could maybe do it. Oh, man. You just have to let go at such a specific spot. Yeah. See, I'm letting go a little too early to where it 
pulls me back to the 180. Yeah, see, there it is. That's hard to get, though, without the manual pop. See if we got 540 to a grind. <laughs> Doing it with a rag spin is hard. Yeah. Oh, like you mean like this? Yeah, you definitely got to spin into the rail if you don't want to sit there for <laughs> multiple hours. Yeah, like that's stupid. I would never not manual pop doing it that way. Even manual popping that way is kind of kind of difficult. Feeble to 180 Oversmith. Oh, I don't think I can do that, Murray. This rail is like that's really quick. Feeble 180 Oversmith. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know about that one, to be honest. <laughs> it's definitely possible. I'm just like really. I'm really bad at doing uh, that for sure. Oh, I guess maybe if I do it like that. Okay. What is happening? Oh, I need to be up in that corner. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Dude, come on, bro. This is bad. We got an ice pick. For some reason, my guy does not want a feeble. Kind of. Yo, thanks for stopping by, Shadow. Enjoy the rest of your night. I wondered if I wanted to check them out. Pipe edits? The only pipe edits I watch are beans. Beans on YouTube. But if you uh, if you put them in my Discord, I don't know if you're in my Discord server, but I have like a like a self promote promote um, section, and like uh, people just post like their Riders Republic pipe shredders videos in there, and I, I watch them in there all the time. I think that's what you asked for, right? Feeble 180 Obersmith to 180 Whip on the flat rail, yeah. Do I ride scooters IRL by chance? No, I ride BMX. What are you guys doing in here? Oh, what are you doing in here, man? Get up here. 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 Get up Kind of can stand there, I guess. Five and a half hours it's been.
You recently got to tr uh, try a scooter for Christmas and oh, triad. And they ended up being too small. You're still streaming, yes. On top of the quarter bank, three. The foot jam whip to late whip out. 360 to foot jam whip to whip out on the bank. Are you talking about this big ass thing right here? Talking about on this guy? That would be pretty difficult. Could probably do that maybe? Could try it. Yeah. Okay, gotta say hi to the dogs every once in a while. They'll just sit there and stare at me like, don't forget about me. Is that it? Is that what you're trying to is that what you're trying to see, Big Crisp? What's my favorite modded map that I've installed? Uh, Jer, it would probably be any of the Volution or Pipeworks maps. Pipeworks City is really good. Um, Pipeland High School. Pipeworks Beach Park. Like, any of those are really fun. Pipeworks City is probably the best one, to be honest. What if we 360 whipped... Onto a quarter, you said bank slash quarter. On top of a quarter slash bank, 360 to foot jam, whip to late whip. Now you want it on a quarter pipe. And this was, this is, this is quite literally a bank slash quarter or a quarter slash bank. It's not exactly a bank, not exactly a quarter. You got links to all the maps you used today? I wanted, uh, no, um, but if you join Volution, they're all in there. Or we go to mod.io. Joined late, so didn't see the names. I mean, any any map that you would have seen me go to, you'd, you'd probably see the name uh, when I select it. But if there's a map you're looking for specifically, uh, I could tell you what it is. just replay you could yeah if you could just scroll through the stream and just go to when i actually started playing that map but uh if there's one specifically that you wanted i didn't do like anything new like a lot of it was old stuff today you meant on any quarter or bank. All right, well, we did it on a bank. Let's go. How do I mod the game solo? You just go on YouTube and search how do I mod pipe and you'll find lots of videos. That's all you got to do though. Van Homan, he's a legend. Yeah, that's actually sick to hear that as your favorite rider. That's actually really cool. Favorite rider, at least at the moment, is probably Felix uh, Prangberg or Prangenberg. He's probably my favorite rider at the moment. The whole, like, everybody on the We The People team is so sick. Jake from State Farm's back. Anyways. Yeah, not a bad pick. Yeah, he's probably my... My at the moment favorite, like any any time he comes out with a video, or any time I get to see that guy riding a contest, it's always just like top tier, and I'm always stoked on it. But I mean, like I have lots of riders that I love watching. Uh, you don't know many BMX riders, but R Willie has to be your favorite. 
dude, how you, how unique he just, yeah, he does do tricks that nobody else does, which is cool. Ryan Williams is a sick, sick rider. I met him in real life, and he's a really cool, nice guy. He gave me a shout out way back when this game first came out. Like he has, he has a, he has like one of the more popular pipe videos, and I'm pretty sure at the beginning of it he shouts me out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the video it might have a million, might not. Got to pay respect. Hell yeah, I I can appreciate that. When doing manual variations, how do you stop your players from? foot from getting stuck is that what you're talking about like how it you kind of get stuck there for a minute I think what's happening is you are letting go of the manual the actual like manual like your stick you're letting go of that before you let go with your foot. Uh, so like if you stay in the manual and then you let go of like the trigger or whatever, your foot will always go back. So like what I do when I do, so what I do when I do foot jams or whatever, is I let go and then immediately hop out like that. It's usually a little bit faster than that. I'm trying to like delay it to make it so you can see my foot go back first. But that's the order I do it in. All right, like that's normally how it looks when I do it. Yeah, and then hang fives. Sometimes hang fives just break. Right? Because I'm pretty sure if I do this and then drop it. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it just. Yeah, sometimes it just breaks. I don't know. You seen that Robin French guy who's on We the People? It was sick. I'm not sure if I have. I've seen a lot of We the People, like most of the read. I've seen most of the We the People videos that they put out because everybody on We the People is just so good. Pat Casey has some. Yeah, Pat Casey does have some sick style. There's so many good riders, honestly. Some maps that get stuck completely free. Yeah. That's just kind of the thing with 1.9 is it's just, it's not very consistent, honestly. And it's a modded trick. Like, it's never going to be, like, 100% really good. Hopefully in BMX Streets, we'll have some, some really good foot jam mechanics. <laughs> That'd be nice. One of the most influential BMX videos is Criminal Mischiefs from... Yeah, I've, I've seen that one. You can watch that on repeat. I remember uh, some of the older guys that I used to ride with when I was younger. They made me watch it. The little devil stuff. We the people four seasons. Nice. I've never even heard of that one. Uh, Jared, no. I've never tried making my own map. Not something I'm super interested in, to be honest. Uh, and it's like, it's super difficult. I have very little knowledge or experience with like a 3D modeling and stuff like on a computer, like in Blender or Maya or whatever you use. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just like, it's a lot of time and effort. And especially with like these games, like a map I made would maybe be kind of cool, but like everyone's just going to want to see me play whatever the newest map is. Um, yeah, there is someone making me a map. Um, I just asked them to make my local skate park, and they said that they would be able to put it in pretty much any game. I just want it for BMX Streets when that comes out, but yeah, get my local park made. Hopefully, hopefully that works out all right. 
One of the first Euro style frames. You're 33, so you're a bit older than me? Yeah. Yeah, I just turned 26 the other day. We're getting old, though. We're getting old. Sick frame. You've had the network, Doomsayer, and Pathfinder? Nice. Yeah, I've. With the people, frames that I've had, I've only had the Doomsayer. I mean, the, f the first ever bike I got was a. Uh, we the people complete it was a we the people reason but as far as aftermarket frames i've only had the 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 doomsayer and that's the frame i'm riding at the moment right now great stream goodbye yo <laughs> see you later jack I feel like I should just stop at like six hours. I was gonna stop at five thirty, but now it's like, uh, you know, eighteen more minutes. It's been six hours, and then it's gonna get to six hours. I'm like, you know what? That's only an hour away from seven hours. And then once you're at seven, that's almost eight. And then once you're at eight, that's two from ten, and ten is two from twelve. So I wonder we really stop. I have no idea. As soon as I get stupid hungry. Uh, since you have like your. It's sort of easier to make ramps and things for custom map. Oh, you're making for Scoot? Nice. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a lot of hours into doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, Big Crisp. It was my birthday on uh, June 1st. Uh, and it's the 4th today, so yeah. Three days ago. Hydromatic from Schwinn. Oh my god, a Schwinn? You know you're getting up there when you were riding a Schwinn BMX. That's pretty sick, though. I've only ever heard about Schwinn BMX. Jamie, you're on signature frame? Oh, that's sick. What if Canadian? Yes, of course. You had a massive band concert on the first. Nice. Wish the Pathfinder came in at 20.5. 27.5 feels too big for you. I'll be honest. I've rode 21. I've rode 20.5. I really don't know. Like, I know the 21 is longer. But I, I really don't know which one I prefer. I feel like I need the same frame built up with all the same parts. And one's a 21 and one's a 27.5. For me to really feel and notice a difference. Like, I thought I was riding a 21, and turns out I've been on a 275. And I was like, oh, that's weird. I My last frame was a 21. I thought I got another 21, but I I got a 275, and then I'm like, well, did I not like the 21? I, I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. The mongoose is held on. <laughs> it's a shame they sell Schwinn from Walmart now. Yeah, I know. They don't, I don't even think there's a Schwinn BMX that exists anymore. They did they just make like really shitty mountain bikes for like a hundred bucks. You got responsibilities, so you gotta go now. Nice, man. Thanks for stopping by. Have a fun, fun week at work. You changed the frame and nothing else. So you really notice it. Yeah, yeah, if you just change the frame and you like went from one to the other. I just feel like I just forget about that stuff. The only thing I would say I really notice a difference is the length of the rear end. Still alive? Yeah, we're still alive. We're still going for a bit. I was gonna end it off at five thirty and then it it slipped past me a little bit and then I was like, Yeah, let's just go for six hours. Five foot nine and twenty one is too big. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, see, I'm like five ten, five eleven, maybe. It's been a long time since I've measured myself. I think I'm like five ten, and then if I put shoes on, I'm like five eleven. Um, but yeah, I, I've rode a twenty one, twenty seven five is what I'm riding now, and yeah, I, if I'm being honest, I just I don't know if I really noticed that big of a difference for me. The only thing I really notice the differences is in rear end. Like, 
I've rode everywhere from 13.5 slammed to 12.5 slammed. 12.5 is absolutely miserable. I'll never ride a frame like that again. I think my Doomsayer is 12.7 or 12.75 slammed. And I kind of ride at like mid dropout. So it's like, I don't know, 12.8 or 12.9. Might even be like 13. I think 13 is where I want it to be. But I don't know. Keep it going. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm getting hungry and my throat is getting sore. I haven't had I haven't had water in a while. I love the 12.5 rear and spinning is just easy with it. Oh yeah, spinning is hella easy and like especially doing like grind hard 180s or just grind spins in general, it's so much easier, but I don't like I don't like doing manuals. Like I used to manual up and down banks. When I had my tw my 13.5, like I could manual up and down a quarter, but not great, but it was there. Um, I, I on a 12.7 or 12.5, like I, there's no way I'm manualing up or down a, a quarter. Even like up and down banks is like, it's difficult. I don't even really I like I struggle to to hold manuals even now on my uh Doomsayer. Not a lot, but Yeah. And the other thing I hate about short back end is you need like tiny cranks or else if you or else my feet were like constantly smacking the back pegs and it's so annoying. Recently threw on fifteen mil fork. You can't stand yeah, that's a bit much. Fifteen? That's crazy. I ride 25s. I've rode to 22s, and those were pretty good, but I don't really nose manual. So, like, it was nice for hang fives, but again, like, the shorter or the less offset you get, it just it makes it easier to get into it, but harder to maintain, I, I, I find, at least for me. God, we've been riding this map for too long, man. We gotta go somewhere for the last 10 minutes. Actually, for the last 10 minutes, let's watch that edit. Someone was asking me to watch a video. Yeah, true manis are super twitchy. I'm also on a 160. So they help with the small frame. Yeah, I had to get one. I have 155 mil cranks. And that was because I was riding a, a Donaghy frame. So I had the 12.5 rear end. And my feet, like, even with a 155 mil cranks was still hitting. I don't have big feet or anything. Like I ride like 10 and a half shoe size. And now I got this these goofy little 155 mil cranks. I can't lie. I do like the 155 mil cranks, but I used to ride uh 160 165s. Who makes 150? I've never seen those. Yeah, they're uh they're made by Fly. I don't even know if you can still get them. Um fly bikes I can't even remember what they're called Let's see if I can pull them up here here they are one fifty fives they come in yeah one fifty five no 160, surprisingly. 165, 170, and 175. But yeah, these are the cranks I have. 155s. But I mean, they're pretty cheap. That's why I got them. Is this even... Is this Canadian? No, this is... There's no way this is Canadian pricing. I don't, I don't know what the pricing is here. It doesn't really say. But yeah, I, I just remember they weren't that expensive. So I was like, yeah, I'll try them. But man, it's so weird riding 155s. Like, basically what feels super different is... Um, 
any sort of like balance or spin trick feels different um because balance wise like for manuals i would say it's a bit more difficult because your feet are like closer together so i feel like you feel less stable but since your feet are closer together like spinning is easier because your feet are closer together i don't know but yeah these are the cranks i ride not not a terrible uh, set of cranks okay apparently there is some lewis mills bmx uh, control bars that was a year ago someone was asking me to watch that i thought maybe there was something like new that came out You can link it. Uh, just tell me what to search. I don't think you can type links in the chat. We'll watch. We'll watch one or two videos. But I gotta get off. I'm so damn hungry, bro. Oh my god! Is this in the 720p? Come on now. Yeah, that hurt. No pressure. It's not on here. No pressure. Oh, this one? Dig locals? What frame am I rocking right now? I'm riding the We The People Doomsayer. I have this one, the black. I have the 27.5. Oh, chain size 12, 9 to 13. Okay, so my, my back end probably is around 13. With the 25.9? Yeah, I think that's what I've got. So yeah, my, my back end's like at 13. I, I like where, that, where it's at right now. It could be maybe a smidge longer. But I, I like where it's at. It's not bad. Fully brakeless. Yeah, I cannot put brakes on my frame. What is this? It's a cool color. It's kind of like a purpley pink. Chain stay. Yeah, twelve five to twelve eight. Yeah, yikes, dude. Frames. See at the ALVX. That's what I used to ride. Wait, did they did they not do BSD? I don't know. Anyways getting off track here is this was this a video yeah that's it okay oh my god it's an hour long <laughs> okay well we definitely can't watch this but we watch some of it oh yeah big copyright claims oh last section Oh, is the last section your friend? Do you know what do you know when it starts? Oh, does it say in here? No, like comments, no time stops. Chris O'Neill's his name. No time stamps, guys. Come on, come on, dig B of X, dude. I'm just gonna pretend it's this guy.
Started streaming. Yo, Cage, what are you doing for work? <clears throat> Just a quick little five hour shift somewhere? What? Pegs one. Quick little oppo overhang. Oh, 48 minutes. Oh, so he's after this guy. Let's get a part time. Nice, nice. He's after this guy. Or or was it that guy? Oh, maybe it's still this guy? You watch any scooter parts? No. Well, it's good. Not much fat chicken tinny. We've had a long stream. And so we're just ending it off with some, some IRL BMX. Oh, after this dude. Okay. I mean, that was a pretty solid line there. The Irish scene is tiny, so this video is a big deal for us. Is this Irish? Yeah. Some Irish boys. So is this your boy wasted or what? Or sorry, wanted? He's Is he getting in shit right now? Gotta love the old ins insurance claims. Oh, we have two Irishmen in the chat. What are the odds? You're not kidding. The scene is small out there. Do I ride motorcycles too? No, I would love to get a motorcycle. You know what I want is I want like a Suron or something. Or I don't know if you guys follow like e-bikes at all, but there's that like uh, um, Teleria Triple X that just came out. That thing looks pretty sick. Those are not like as big or as cool or as fast as like an actual motorcycle, but that's what I, that's kind of what I want. Suron would be fire, yeah. That uh, Telaria, um, I think it's like Triple X or X3 is what they call it. That one looks really good. It's like a little bit cheaper than a Suron, but basically just as powerful. So to say, I'd pick up that one, yeah. Phoebe's 180 bar action. Do you guys ha have skate parks? Good skate parks out there. We'll hop truck. Comes with street tires and everything. Yeah. The super motos. I mean, the street spots looks super fun. It looks just like hella dead where like there's nobody outside. <laughs> oh, that was sick. nowhere near the UK or anything it does the weather get nice at all like it seems like you guys are probably a little chilly like most of the time here dude oh man everything just looks so rough that's a cool spot dude the, the, I can't get over how rough the concrete looks Is that just due to weather? Like it just rains a lot, so everything's just rough and shitty. This spot looks, I like this place. Ooh, that was sick. November to February, oh, well that's like the same where I am. We get snow. 
It's just like cheese grater central. Yeah, I do. Like I'm just looking at the ground and it just looks so shitty. This is a cool spot though. I've seen a lot of cool spots so far. Oh, wow. I don't know why. I thought he was going to do a tail whip there. Is that Bruno Hoffman? I don't think Bruno Hoffman's Irish. The concrete is horrible everywhere. Yeah, it just looks like it. I mean, it's grippy, which is like somewhat nice, I guess. Yeah, like just all the overgrown tile with all the weeds coming through. Oh, that was sick. Smith knows ice one. That was actually really sick. Filmer is hyped. Switch pegs 180. Oh, your boy could do that. Put me in the next part. Oh, that's sick. His bike is looking hella scuffed, dude. What is going on here? He's got like the gum front tire, the blue frame, and like a red rear tire. That was that was thick. That was nice though. Big dub ski. Oh, you saw the private plane. I thought that was him. Makes sense. Yeah, this bike that he's got is super clean looking. The chrome bars with like the gray frame. Ooh, ice hard. Dude, my buddy did that at the park the other day and I could not believe he did it. He doesn't really like ride that often and he doesn't like, he does like a lot of manual 180s and he rides transition and he just pulls out an ice hard 180. I was just like, what? Ooh, a little tire ride to whip. <laughs> Oh, a little predator. Hard three. That is impressive. Tires, pred, hard three. That is impressive. That's got to be the banger, right? No? There's more? He does something better than that. Huge ice. 180 bar. Yeah. I don't know if that's better than what he just did, though. Unless it keeps going. He definitely should have had that other clip as the banger, though, I think. Oh. Wait, there's more. There's more. That was a night. That was a long ice. It was, but. It was, but. Ice 180 bar. Or a tire ride to Predator to Hard 3. I mean, come on. Still not the banger. Yeah, I know. It's still going. Don't tell me that was a banger, was it? I feel like I just missed it if it was. This is just a double peg or did he tire ride that? That had to have been the banger, right? And I missed it? Oh, no. Here it is. Is that a tire ride? No, it was a double peg. Wait, what am I missing about this? Wait, what just happened? That was not the banger. That was the banger. What? Am I missing something here? But he did a tie ride to Predator to hard three and then did a huge ass ice to 180 bar and that's the ender? Dan section at 38. Pegs with a banger. That was so weird. 
the other two clips before that were way cooler. Like, that's sick. That's big. It looks pretty big, but... Hard three. This guy's this guy's doing something right for me. Oh wait, that's not even the guy you said. Maybe this is the guy. I don't know, dude. He's smoking darts in his intro. I'm not sure. I think it's huge in person, so that's probably why, yeah. Dude, I tried that trick once and caught my back wheel on the ledge and just completely died. Big three. Was for sure the banger that was an 18 set handrail? Yeah, but he just had a double peg. <laughs> I don't know. Like, to me, like, something that is, like, super, especially, like, after looking at all the other clips with everything that was, like, pretty technical. Like, like and if you ride BMX, you should know. Doing this is 10 times harder than hitting that. 18 stereo like that's way harder to do it's maybe not as scary obviously hitting the rail is a lot scarier but the amount of time and and practice a rider needs to put in to put to perform those tricks or this one right here compared to just like a del peg on a big set that's just that's just my opinion like maybe this was like and like I know riders like this, like this is this is a big deal for like a lot of tech riders. Like this is huge and scary, and like there's a there's a lot more risk involved with hitting something like this. But I just, for me personally, I would rather see those other clips as a banger. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you ever check out that Lewis Mills controller bar edit? Yeah, we looked it up, but it's it's like a year old. I've I've definitely already seen that. Uh, look up Jim. He was sponsored by Fit. It's amazing if you get the chance, Jim. Bar, I'm not sure if I've heard of that name. You're more into tech stuff. Still streaming? Let's go. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're ending. I said I was gonna end the stream like ten minutes ago, but we started watching stuff. This is my kind of riding right here. Is uh this guy right here. This is who I've been like super beyond stoked on lately. Um yeah, let's just do his real BMX because it's short. <laughs> I mean if you if you watch me play pipe and you watch how this guy rides, it's <laughs> it's not that far off. <laughs> Like this is like this is like the kind of riding I do when I play pipe. This is definitely more my style, you know. Jesus, like what was that, bro? That was a full-on switch-footed switch web straight into a regular 180 web. Like what? But still got the steed, dude. He's still steezing out in the streets. Lucky hard 180 backlash. The fakey whip. God. He's an actual video game. Guys will be hyped. I mean, yeah, that's sick. I love checking out. Uh, I like like crew BMX videos like that. 
It's a, it's definitely a little intimidating seeing like an hour long video. I feel like I really only ever watch those on like BMX trips. Like when I, like it's at night and like there's like an hour or two before you go to bed and you're, maybe you're just like drinking or smoking or whatever it is. Yeah, like did you guys see that? Big Manny 180 to 7 cab, dude. Oh my god. I can't remember the timeline that he filmed that into, but it was stupid. Stupid quick. This guy is just built different, bro. Where's that where's that tail whip clip? These clips are all insane here. God, that's so sick. Manual. Oh, so good. The peg's nose whip is coming up, I think. Or it might have, it might have already happened. I could have, maybe it was a banger though. Oh, it's a banger. It's right here. Peg's nose whip. That's fucked. Yeah. Guy's a savage. Anyways, guys, I think we're after, gonna have to call it there. It's been six hours and thirteen minutes. Um, thanks for everyone hanging out. Uh, maybe we'll do some big long streams like this a couple times, like a month or something. Or at least once a month. Because this was fun just hanging out. It'll definitely be easier when like streets and stuff comes out. And there's like stuff I can actually sit and play for that long. But yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out. Literally a video. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That guy rides a real life bike like it's a video game. Yeah. Anyways, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night or morning. Whatever time it is for you. And enjoy the rest of your week. We will be back... I might have a video tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're going to make a video on that super OG build that I played for a little bit earlier. Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys later. Bye.